All right. Let's see, is this thing on? Yeah, it looks like it's on. Hey guys, how's it going? Ugh. Get the video preview going. here. Oh God. Everything seems to be in order. Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? I'm a little out of it. Ain't gonna lie. Hang on, give me a second here to throw Final Fantasy in. It's a little loud on my end. That's all good. Whew. Alright, let's open everything up. Alright, just bear with me for a second here. All right, I think we're good. How's everybody doing this morning? I'm doing pretty good myself. Hopefully y'all are as well. Oh, I'm fucking tired though. I I probably hiked almost 20 miles yesterday, so I'm just about dead. Um, We're gonna do Final Fantasy VII this morning. Uh, one, because I want to, two, because I want to. Um, yeah. No, we're going to do Final Fantasy VII this morning. Uh, from where we left off last time, we should, uh, be in a perfect position to do, uh, the end of Midgar, and then from there head on to that flashback, and then from there, I'll probably grind for a bit on stream, and then grind for a bit, uh, off stream afterwards. Um... Yeah, so that's the that's the agenda for today. So hopefully you guys will be interested in coming along for that. Again, in six minutes. Okay. All right, let's keep on keeping on, shall we? It's a bit earlier than I usually stream, but I'm... After a hike like that, I am physically incapable of doing anything else with my life right now. If you don't have an appointment, don't need no damn appointment. We gonna fucking kill all y'all. We terrorists. Better get out of the way. Ha <laughs> ha. It's the fucking terrorists. Y'all have to excuse me, by the way. I'm having my morning coffee. Uh -huh. uh, mm, mm. Ah, delicious. Woo! There we go. That feels better. Nothing like that morning cup of coffee. I didn't get any yesterday. Oh, that's probably another reason I'm dead. I had to have a bunch of blood drawn for my yearly physical before I went on my hike, so I was low on blood as I was hiking 20 miles yesterday, which was also the reason I wasn't streaming. I had a bunch of stuff to do yesterday, so... Um, yeah. Let's go to the top! Alright, so the reason we did this instead of climbing up the back is because we're going to be able to run into some good fights here, but you can also, um, get access to a shop that, if I remember correctly, has this week's creation or fu future is the world's future. Make up energy for a brighter world. Um, you get access to a shop that I'm pretty sure has one or two unique items to this point in the game. Um, okay, so they ran out. So you chase these guys around, and eventually one of them will come up and open up the shop up here. Okay, there you go. Run this way. Over to here. You go to the Shinra gift shop. I should really be using uh, magic on these guys, but as you can see, I'm a little low on everything, so... So this is a cool enemy type because it becomes this weird shuffling unarmored thing. I think it's pretty cute. And once again, as usual, not exactly difficult. Alright. What do you people have to say to me? 
Oh yeah, I forgot there's items. Honey, buy me that car. That's way too expensive. Yep, story of my life. You opened up all those things without asking, and hey, wait. I don't think you can open those until later, but I don't remember. Today we have on special. Ah! Here, take the money. Ain't no pack of criminals. We're just eco-terrorists. <clears throat> Might even pay you if you help us. Got no damn money. Also, this was completely useless. <laughs> Shit. Oh well. <clears throat> Forget I said that. Are you still gonna yell at me for. Yeah, you are. Damn it. I think I have to come back there later. Way later in the game, unfortunately. Damn. Oh well. It don't matter. Look at this bike. Look at these cool. Cars and stuff over here. I wonder what's gonna happen with those later on. Probably something cool. Alright, we're gonna get our second all materia here soon. Uh, so we'll be switching around the materia a lot. Unfortunately, we're also gonna get to the point here soon where um, we're gonna start switching between characters a lot. Unfortunately, it's going to mean a lot of uh, materia and equipment management. It shouldn't be too bad. Alright, we do it. So it looks like I got a random follow yesterday. Um, and I know they're not in the stream or the chat right now, but I'll still say a big thank you to Hot Dog Inspector, Hot Dog Inspector, there we go, for following us the other day. Uh, what's wrong? Uh, I didn't want to start a ruckus until we saved Martyr. <laughs> Forgot I named her Martyr. <laughs> uh, Should have known that was impossible. <laughs> what is it? You're giving me the willies. So there are times when even you fight for other people. I'm impressed. You get different dialogue um, uh, for doing this compared to doing the Sneaky Path 2. Sorry for lots of things, like half my albums, the whole Kim Kardashian thing, naming my daughter Northwest. So look at this fucking random number generator. It's one of the first things you learn to code. Part of the first stream, how we accidentally named Cloud Cligs. <laughs> um, but uh, if y'all are interested in the story, I could probably have my arm twisted to tell it at some point later here. I should be some buying probably a second restore materia at some point here. Um, obviously, this isn't Final Fantasy Tactics where items. Um, are hard to use, not hard to use, but items are difficult to use if you want to use different abilities. So everybody has access to items, so you don't really need a second person with healing materia, but sometimes I like to run uh, like that. So this is where Bolt's going to come in the most handy, uh, because the majority of the things we're going to fight in here are mechanical in nature. Um, since they're weak to the lightning, we'll just be able to shock the ever-loving shit out of them. Um, up to including a couple of the bosses that I'm going into here. Alright, come on, give me another one. Floor 40. So you get a lot more fights when you go through the front as opposed to running through the back of Shinra, which we could have done. Um... I'm more interested in getting some experience for these guys now um, to mitigate the amount of grinding we're going to have to do later on. It shouldn't be too big of a deal, but... It... <sighs> I 
gonna have to start using. Wow, you missed. Good job. We're gonna have to start using some ethers or a tent here soon. Um, once you start getting a lot of uh, magic points later on, uh, using a tent is far superior to. What's going on? I don't care where it cleans, just stop it. Uh, using tents and stuff that restores everything is far superior to using ethers because ethers can get. I think they're more expensive than tents. Here's a fun little joke. Oh man. No, uh, I I'm not getting on. Oh god! <laughs> Alright. Come on, hit the button. There we go. 59. I don't think this is random. Um, I think it just ends up happening that way. All right, and now we've come out, and now we have access to the executive elevators. Which is how you get around the Shinra building for the most part. There's stairs and stuff, but um, the majority of the puzzles present um, in the Shinra building revolve around un or getting keys for the next level of the elevators. Which is cool, I think this is a really cool uh, section in the game here. Mm, excuse me. This is a really cool section in the game here. Um, it's probably one of my favorite early game sections. Let's hit you. Probably a waste to hit somebody in the back row, but... I wanna use the extra ex um, damage from that. Oh, I was hoping it would be it would be able to break his armor, but I guess I guess no luck there. Uh, so if you look at the limit bars for Kligs and Kanye right now, uh, they are more of a red shade than the regular pink shade that Honkers has. Um, the deal with that is uh, they have been inflicted with a a special status that you've only or that you only see really in this game based around the limit break called Fury. And what Fury does is it, it, if I remember correctly, it increases your attack by a teeny bit, lowers the rest of your stats by a little bit. Um, you also take more damage when you have it, but your limit break bar fills up faster. Uh, so what you can do is later in the game, you can actually inflict Fury um, on your characters uh, when grinding. Uh, so that their limit break bar fills better. Hey, Kligs, you come all this way, you thinking of going back down to the first floor? Yeah. We ain't got no time for that. Stop messing around, boy. You shut your damn mouth. Um, but it helps grind out... I think there's... So this is the, um, it helps grind out, um, uh, limit breaks better. I'll do this another time. I'm pretty sure there's an item in here we missed by not going up these stairs, but this would be the stealthy way to get in. You wouldn't have to deal with the, all those random fights and everything like that, and you'd just be able to come right to this floor and uh, fight those guys there. But like I said, I want experience, so let's go up to the 60th floor. Look at that elevator. Elevators like that are fucking cool. I hope Martyr is alright. This is the real thing, don't let your guard down. You know, thinking about it, Kanye is a really, really appropriate name for that asshole. I don't like him as a character. I get some of his motivations, but it... Come on, dude. Let's see, how's the actual stream quality looking? It looks alright. I like that little transition with the guard falling asleep there, too. Alright, so first thing we want to do is we can come over here. No, there's a save point right around here that I want to use, and I want to use the tent there as well. I could be completely wrong. Shit, I think I'm completely wrong. Damn it. People like you don't belong here. Go on, get out. What do you mean, you people? Alright, looks like we're going to have to actually do... some regular healing here. Nope, guess not. Okay. So this is a cool little um, timed stealth section. Where you're basically only supposed to move 
when the people are not looking. Um, wait for the soldiers to do the thing and then signal the others. So this is what you're supposed to do across this section here. Uh, but what I like to do is totally fuck it up. Um, because you get more experience. The only problem is you often end up, end up in fights like this. Where you're getting hit from both sides. Or, excuse me. Um, but one of the reasons I do this is because... Um, when they hit you in the back, obviously, your uh, uh, limit break bar is going to fill up a lot faster. Whew. Man. I'm not sleepy, I'm just physically exhausted. <laughs> Kanye's got his limit break again already. Look at that. So that's two limit break uses in one fucking thing, which would be good. Um, because I want to get these guys limit breaks up there. Some of the most unique and cool things um, in the game. I actually genuinely like them. So I'm gonna get yelled at every time. What the hell are you doing? You just run up there. Um. So they, they obviously don't want you to get stuck here forever in case you suck or are a child. So what they do is after a certain point... Um, hey, look at that. After a certain point, they'll just straight up... Uh, just, like, depopulate all the enemies. And then Kanye yells at you again. Uh, which is kind of funny to me. Forget, was I actually able to steal anything? Got, got something? Tranquilizers, okay. Uh, tranquilizer is the item you use to... Oh, wow. I'm taking a fair amount of damage here. Uh, tranquilizer is the item you use to get rid of the, uh, the Fury status. Um, there's another status called Sadness, where the limit bar will be blue. Um, and you take a little less damage, but... Um, you take a little less damage, but your limit bar doesn't fill up enough, so... Um, there are strategies revolving around when you want to be infuriated and when you want to be sad. Um, I'm obviously not going to do anything with it. Um, uh, let's use Cure on... In fact, let's use Cure on everybody. I don't know how I managed to end up with 12 Ethers, um, but I did. So I can kind of sit here and just kind of grind out this part. Attack from both sides, oh my god! Let's see. So it looks like either I wasn't successful there or you just straight up can't steal from the. Sure, actually. I'm not sure if you can't steal from the armored versions of these or what. Did I miss that? Am I blind? It looked like it was stopped. It looked like it was stopped by the attack I just did. We'll try one more steal on the armored variants. God, he can't hit anybody. does have a blind status on him. He has to. And, um, do I have eye drops? I do not. Either that or I'm just getting insanely unlucky at this point here. Um, which could also be the case. Yeah, what do we got? Stop yelling at me. All right, I'm going to actually physically check his status here. Uh, no, he doesn't have any negative effects on him. So he, I just got incredibly unlucky, and he missed every single one of those fucking swings that fight. Like, wow. 
<laughs> Alright, here we go for another one of these. Grind out some more limits. Limits. You know, I'm actually... Ooh, fuck yeah. Hopefully this uh, volley here between the big shot and the two bolts will be able to straight up kill this guy. Probably not, but uh, one can always hope. Oh, sweet! I'm gonna get shot in the back, take a little bit extra damage. But that is all good. Alright, let's see, am I gonna miss again? What the fuck?! <laughs> What's going on? It's not a long-range thing. Jeez. Guess they really want me to use Bolt with this guy. Damn it, Kligs! Pull your head out of your ass and start actually killing people. Sweet. We've got some good levels here. Um, if you're around level... Yep, see, I depopulated everybody. If you're around, like, level 15, um, by the time you uh, get to the end of the, the Shinra building, you're pretty much set to finish off the bosses that you have to fight to get out. Here we go. I don't remember seeing your face before. You knew here. Say, you're cute. Let me teach you some things. Things? It's only going to teach you how to get to the next floor. Aw, I thought she wanted the smash. Higher-ups in the company use the floors above the 60th floor, but you can get there without a key card. Get a key card and you can use the elevators freely. You hear that sound and the door open. There are different kinds of cards. One key card won't let you in everywhere. Keycard 60 only takes you to the 60th floor, 65 the 65th floor. It's security. I gotta get back to work. So that's your that's your intro on how you need to go about getting through this um, this area here. The problem with that is that like, it's security look, I don't have the 62nd floor keycard. Oh shit. Did I fuck up? Am I wrong? Um, I guess you can't get through there without it. I know there's one of these floors. I think there's one of these damn floors. I could be wrong. Locked. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to get the fucking keycard from somebody down here. Also, for the fact that there's this state-of-the-art keycard security system, I'm very easily able to get around. It's keeping her, did she forget her? Of the 60th floor without a key card. You're doing around here. Don't say nothing. Oh, I see. You must be that, what you call it, repair division. You know, it looks like this building is starting to part. Here. Take this key card. He just hands us the keys to the whole fucking building. Alright, let's go up to the 62nd floor. There's a couple puzzles you do uh, to get key cards. There's a couple other things. This one's cool. How do you do? This is the Midgar Mayor's office. Mayor Domino is in his office. I'm the Deputy Mayor. If you should have any questions, feel free to ask me. Alright. So this guy, this guy's the mayor, but he doesn't get to do anything because Shinra, the corporation, really controls everything. Um, so this guy's willing to help us out, but only if we play his little puzzle. You must be those, uh, I'm the mayor of Midgar. Actually, I'm mayor in name only, a city, and everything is really run by Shinra. Oh, that thing I just said. My only real job is watching over the documents. Me, the mayor, a librarian. Oh, God. You want to get upstairs? I tell you what, if you can guess the password, I'll give you my key card. This uh, puzzle's pretty cool. Guess the password and I'll give you my key card. Get it on the first try and I'll even throw in a special item. All right. So what we can do... 1997. Hey, that's when the game came out. That's cool. I like that. Anyway, so what we can do is we can actually just pay this guy. He's got way too much time on his hands. Maybe I can help you. Help! Alright, as a public servant, he's the people, so here's a hint. Um, 
if you get hints from him three times, uh, he'll just tell you the password. Um, which I might do anyway. So the way this works, materials are non-circulating. It is forbidden to remove any materials from this floor. All right, that's all that says. Um, so what you gotta do is each one of these rooms has a different subject that all the documents inside are on. Um, if you find a document that isn't supposed to be there, that's part of your key. So urban research. Problems with plate construction. Midgar City map. Okay, those seem to be in order. Reactor construction chart. Midgar City map. Modern history of Midgar space program volume one. Okay, so that volume number up there tells you what letter to look at. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure it's based on letters and not spaces. So we want to look at the 16th letter. So the 16th letter is the M in Midgar there. So we want to remember the letter M. All right, what's this one here? Let me read it. Scientific research. 16 is M. Experimental animals. Echo weaponry. That might be. The ancients in history. File on Dr. Cass, biologist. Evolutionary stages. I make the levels of living beings. I think... Either the Ancients one, or the Data, is, um, probably the Ancients History one. H. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm doing this wrong. Um, I think the spaces might be included, so we're actually going to help this asshole. Line my pockets. Different sections, parts of the password are hidden in each of the libraries. In each library is written on the plaque. Give me the next hint. What are you going to ask for? Another a thousand? Fuck it. What are we going to do with money at this point? It's from another library. Get the numbers on each file. Give me the next hint. For 2,000 gil, but I don't have it. <laughs> Ass hat. Alright, peace preservation and weapon development. Okay, so it is the make a weaponry thing here. Let's take a look. It was right here, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. So number four, one, two, three, four is the letter K. So we have that letter M and the letter K. All right, this is space research. Letter M and the letter K. Okay, so this one's clearly out of place. So we've got M and K, and then the tenth letter. One, two, three, four, five, five, nine, ten. O. So we have M, K, and O. I have a feeling the password's gonna be Mako, but let's check the last one just in case. Peace preservation and weapon development. M, K, O. Okay, so the second letter here is A, so M-A-K-O. Um, there isn't a, there isn't an order, you just have to kind of get the letters and figure it out. Um, and it is randomized, so um, it's different every time. And tell me, password is Mako. Yeah, we got it, first shot. Mako, God, I love the sound of that. Mako, if I had a lot more of it, I would be a real mayor. Well, okay, take it. She gave me the key card 65. I got it on the first try. So he gave me elemental materia. Oh, my back. 
To mess with them, of course. Shinra's been torturing me forever. That's why I was a little rough on you all just now. I go up there and really make them suffer. What if my plan is to blow up the building? You're inside the building, bro. Alright. But now that we have that elemental materia, um, I'm actually interested in equipping that here. So what I'm going to do is elemental lightning. Oop. Actually, yeah, elemental lightning. Okay, so what this does is it adds a lightning elemental attack to my physical attack. So now my physical attacks will hit with lightning, which will be good for here. All right, we're going to equip cover, and we're going to equip ice, and we're going to give the all to honkers here. Um, sweet! So now we have the key card to the 65th floor, uh, which means we're going to have to... The, the floors don't go in order, so you actually kind of have to go through uh, kind of a weird convoluted order, but it's okay. It's, um, it's actually pretty cool. Okay, so this one's kind of dumb. Um, there's all these different boxes, and they open in a, they open in some order, and you basically have to grab it and use it to complete that puzzle in the center there. So here, I have Midgar parts here. And so we're going to go over to this model of Midgar, which is fucking cool, by the way. And we're going to jam it in here. Also, notice how it looks like somebody took the Sector, Sector 7 part and just broke it with a fucking hammer. Born for Mako, sucked right of the art. Uh, the art? The earth. Place the Midgar parts. Sounds like something opened up. So this one is pretty simple. You just have to go through all the boxes and find out uh, the ones that have been opened up. Like I said, pretty simple. Alright, let's see how much damage Fliggs does with his lightning elemental attack here. Get it! Not too much. Uh, the only bad thing about equipping an element on your weapon is sometimes enemies uh, take half damage from an elemental attack, uh, and sometimes enemies will actually absorb um... Elemental attacks. Uh, let's put in the parts. Oh, I gotta go over to the part where the parts are missing. And bam. It doesn't matter what order we put it in on this actual uh, thing here. Uh, oh, look at this. We're getting it every time. So yeah, the only real difficult part to this is the fact that you run into random battles when you're out um, in the open there. Sounds like something opened up. Let's keep going. And I think there's there's either... I think there's six or seven uh, boxes. Actually, there could be less. I think there might only be five. Oh, lower back. Right after that big, long-ass hike I was telling you guys about. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's the last box. Whoops. So there are six. Uh, right after that hike, I met up with my family at a uh, really good Chicago uh, pizza place. Had some really good-ass pizza. Um, and then came home and passed the fuck out after a shower, of course. But I've been slowly dying all over parts of my house for about the past 12 hours. <laughs> These guys aren't really giving us much in the way of uh, experience, huh? Midgar parts is probably not the fastest. Actually, it is probably the fastest way. I really like how low-key this part of the game is. Like, it's nice and low-key, but then it'll pick up the pace later on. Key card 66. Alright, there's some actually really interesting stuff going on here. Because, look, there's the president and all of his uh, executives over there. Obviously, we can't go in there. What we can go do is go up here and take a big massive shit. Climb up.
I've never seen a, a air vent grate that can support a human being's weight dangling off of it. Mm. Damage estimate, Sector 7. Damage is estimated at 10 billion gil. Estimated cost to rebuild is... We're not. What the fuck? We're leaving it as it is and starting the Neo Midgar plan. Jesus, give me something here. So they found an ancient, so now they can find this promised land. I want you to raise and make our rates by 15% in every area. Rate hike, rate hike. That guy's an asshole, Palmer. Include our space program in the budget. That's one cool thing that is like space program. Reeve and Scarlet will divide the extra income from the rate increase. Aw, oh, he's so sad. Fuck him. If you raise the rates, people will lose confidence. It'll be all right. The ignorant citizens won't lose confidence. They'll trust Shinra even more. Ha 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 ha. We're the one who saved Sector 7 from Avalanche. That dirty bitch. <laughs> hey, look at this asshole. This guy's kind of a big deal. Here, give me half a second here. Sorry, guys. I have just one more thing that I need to check. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, cool. Sorry, just had to double check some stuff. I've been having issues the last couple streams with the uh, stream information not updating. So um, it was showing that I was streaming no games the last time I was streaming this game and a couple others. And. Uh, that kind of fucks up the whole uh, the, the, the video on demand part once it comes up afterwards. Like, you can fix it, but it still ends up not categorizing it the way you want. So I have to double check that. Um, and I'm going to double check it a few more times probably before the end of the stream here. But anyways, as a specimen, the ancient is inferior to her mother. I'm still in the process of comparing her to her mother, Ifalna. Uh, but for now, the difference is 18%. How long will the research take? Probably 120 years. It's impossible to finish in our lifetime, or the lifetime of the specimen, too, for that matter. So I'm going to hold her down and breed her. Great research that could withstand for a long time. Will it hinder our promised land plans? That's what I need to plan. The mother is strong and yet has her weaknesses. Ha 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 ha. It doesn't make fucking any sense for what they're trying to say right now. That concludes our meeting. I smell poo. It's me, because I didn't flush that toilet. Actually, I think even if you do flush the toilet, it doesn't, uh, you know. They were talking about martyr, right? I don't know. Probably. Let's follow these fucks. Dee dee dee, crawling backwards, crawling backwards. I hate how they just reverse the animation. It looks fucking terrible. All right, now we gotta chase these summon them bitches down. Let's go get them. Uh oh. Hojo, huh? Unfucking mute myself, I did. Okay. Alright, so he went up to the 67th floor. Pretty sure I just need to talk to somebody to get the next key. You ever hear whispers coming from somewhere? Monitor day in, day out. I just don't have any motivation. Come on, get out of there. Look at all these fucking ellipses. Hello. He's kind of cute, but looks like that girl's with him. But that's kind of exciting. 
<laughs> she wants to steal me away from all the girls I'm hanging out with. Uh, let's see. I don't need to go through any of those. I don't think I can go in. Oh, shit. I can go in here. I've never been... That's why I never go in the room. There's nothing in here to do except for that. All right. Now if I talk... Some sort of stench coming from somewhere. Hmm. Ah, fuck this guy again. Come on. There we go. I'm pretty sure there's a key card I can grab somewhere here. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess I'm wrong. I'm wrong, you guys. For the 800th time this stream. Okay, here, we're just supposed to keep following him. cards do I have? I remember him. That Hojo guy, he's in charge of the science department. Kliggs, do you know him? This is the first time I've ever actually seen him. So that's what he looks like. Alright, so for some reason we're able to just walk right out of here. We're supposed to go around over there, but I'm not doing that yet. I want to talk to everybody. Because it's been a while and I haven't... Oh, I can't talk to these people. Can't fucking talk to these people. What about you? Can I talk to you? Uh-oh! Random battle! Look at this! Actual guys from Soldier. And I managed to, uh, crit the first hit. These guys, uh... Their model's actually pretty cool, because it's just a variation of what Cloud looks like, which makes sense, because he's a member of Soldier, so he's supposed to look like they do, I guess. And they put me to sleep. Kanye needs to heal. Tonker's just... Oh. Yeah, hit him and wake his ass up, please. Please. He'll come out with a cross slash this next attack. Uh oh. Flying Sekuru. Soldier third class A's skill power is used up. And now they're dead. That's the interesting thing, is he's dressed up like a third class soldier. Not necessarily a first class, but we don't know what a first class looks like. Um it's just a red version. The specimen Hojo asked me for is... Blah. So let's go over here and see what's going on. Ah! This part's actually pretty cool. Oh god, it's a guy. We're just kind of hiding behind this box. We're starting right away. Raise it to the upper level. My precious specimen. Weird fucking guy, you guys. He's so weirdo, don't you know? There he goes. He fucks off. We get to come out and look. What is this dumb red blob? Precious specimen? Is it going to be used for a biological experiment? Here's the cool part. Genova. She has an eyeball for a nipple, you guys, and her head's missing. And now he's gonna freak the fuck out. I've never seen an eyeball nipple before. Ah! And he's dead. He's just fucking straight up dead. Game over. Nope, just kidding. Genova Sephiroth, so they've brought it here. Clegg's be strong. Did you see it? See what? It's moving. Still alive? Where's its fucking head? This whole thing is stupid. <laughs> I agree. Let's keep going. Alright, so we're coming up here. 
Uh, and if I remember correctly, is this the poison materia? It is. Uh, this materia can kind of be important for, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? This materia can be kind of important for organic enemies, so we're going to equip it on honkers with the all skill. Alright, let's see. How are we looking on everything? Uh, we can, we can burn through a tent here. Only one we've got, unfortunately. But we can still go down to the first floor and buy stuff with money we make here. Which is good. It's good for us. Slot Juan. Alright, so from here we can actually keep on with the story. But there are some optional floors that we want to get to. Um, so we want to go back down a few floors before we continue on with the story here. Alright, let's see. Are you going to miss with your fucking swing this time, Kligs? Nope. Good. What do you got? You got anything for me? Nope. Some bitch. Man, getting these extra limit breaks is fucking awesome. Because he's going to grind up to his level 2s in no time, at this rate. Um, if I hit level 2 before I even get out of the Shinra building, that'd be fucking amazing. Perfectly honest. There goes Hojo. Oh shit, I can't go that way yet. Aw oh, man, did I fuck up and... Wait, no, nope, we've got elevators. Never mind, we've got elevators. There's no elevator on this floor. God damn it! Forced to continue on. I may have missed out on that second all materia I kept talking about. I may have missed out on a couple things, actually. So at this point, we just run the fuck over. Martyr! Oh, is that her name? What do you want? We're taking Martyr back. Outsiders. Should have noticed it earlier. So many frivolous things in this world. You gonna kill me? I don't think you should. The equipment here is extremely delicate. Without me, who could operate it, huh? Ugh. That's right, I recommend you think things out logically before you make any rash moves. Now bring in the specimen. So you're not even operating the equipment. So if we killed you, nothing would happen. Literally nothing. I think he's trying to breed that dog with that 22-year-old girl. Yeah! <laughs> We're out of Sector 6 and we still can't get away from the creepy sex thing. What do you think you're doing? Lending a helping hand to an endangered species, both of them are on the brink of extinction. These animals will disappear, so I need to watch them fuck. Animal, that's terrible. Martyr is a human being. You're gonna pay. Can't you do anything? I'm gonna shoot at everything. Stop! Oh god. It's gonna explode! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh god! Actually, never mind, the door just opened. Actually, I think he just voluntarily opened the door to check on the specimens and then gets his throat torn out by this thing he wanted to watch fuck a girl. Now's our chance, get martyr! Hey yo, girl, hey! Thanks, Kligs. Uh oh. Kligs, what's wrong? The elevator's moving. There's no ordinary specimen. This is a very ferocious specimen. Oh my god. He's rather strong. I'll help you all out. It talked! I'll talk as much as you want later, miss. Can we smash? We'll take care of that monster. Somebody take Martyr and get somewhere safe. Uh, do I get rid of Honkers or Kanye? Ah. Uh... Let's get rid of Honkers for now. I'm not a fan of Kanye. Hojo has named me Red 13, a name with no meaning whatsoever to me. Call me whatever you wish. Uh, what should we name this stupid dog? Damn it, I can't fit Cuckington into that. Um. Dream Kitty wants it named Rough Rough. 
I like Rough Rough, but we're gonna name it... Oop, shit. <laughs> Cucks a lot. <laughs> also, hello, Dream Kitty. Welcome to the, the, the video. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Uh, come on, Cucks a lot. So, unfortunately, I should have picked uh, Honkers to stay with us because we lost out on our only all ability that we had access to. Um, he's got an all fire, but now we're poisoned. Do I have antidotes on me? I think I do. I do not. So we're just fucking stuck. <laughs> if I remember correctly, though, fire does pretty good against these things. Cliggs is an accident. Kanye is starting to fit more and more as we go into this damn game. And, uh... Cuxalot just ended up being a happy accident. I shouldn't be attacking these things. I should be attacking the main body. So we're gonna do that. Can I? Yeah, there we go. Okay. I was just having issues with the whole actual naming convection. Convection? Fuck me! I can't talk today! Here we go. One of the things I liked that they implemented in later Final Fantasy games, that was actually in early ones, earlier ones too, is the um, the targeting system was menu based. So when you went to target stuff, instead of bringing up uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Instead of bringing up just an, a, a finger pointing at the enemies, it would bring up a menu listing all the enemies, and so you could just scroll through that, um, which I thought was helpful. Help. Um, I know I can implement it here by pressing it's either the square or one of the R or L buttons. I genuinely don't remember. Okay, cool. Look at that. We stopped the, the back one so we can actually uh, kill some of these uh, uh, some of these little ads here in the front here. There go. So he's burnt. Um, my oh crap! It's not stuck. Uh, my favorite name so far has been uh, Eris, which we named Honk... Uh, no, not Honkers. We named that one Martyr. Ah, shit. I did it wrong. Uh, it looks like you're gonna need to cure... Uh, Kligs here again. Uh, Kligs' name was fucked up, and he's named Kligs because I was gonna name him Klig Bitterus. Uh... And then I completely fucked up actually naming him, so now he's just Kligs. Because I accidentally hit uh, select instead of delete. <laughs> so we stuck with Kligs. Good job healing your little guys. You're gonna die though. Believe it or not, this boss is the only one um, that can cause problems in the early game here. In my opinion, I think. There's one other boss we fight, like, shortly after this that can be a problem, too. Oh, good stretch. Um, but as long as you know what you're doing, it's not that big of a deal. Look at that! We got a new materia floating around over there. She seems alright in many ways. I don't know what that means. Would you, like, check out her, like, figure? I have a right to choose two. I don't like two-legged things. That, uh, translation was bad. Yeah, I'm excited for the remake. It sucks it's not going to be till like 2020 until we get the first episode. What are you? I'm here to smash. An informed question, but difficult to answer. I am what you see. You must have many questions. First, let's get out of here. I will lead the way. Kligs, you did come for me. Sorry for getting super hard on top of you, lady. I was merely acting. I swear to God. That was an acting boner. I wasn't really gonna breed you. <laughs> we can't get away from the creepy sex things. Now we've saved Martyr, ain't no need to be in this building, so let's get the hell out of here. If all five of us go together, we'll be noticed. Let's break up into two groups. He's a cat dog. 
Press menu to access the menu. Press the cancel button to change party. Okay, so we are actually going to, we're going to switch out Kanye for Honkers here. I would usually switch out for Martyr, but um, at this point I'm more worried about uh, the level difference than anything. Uh, so we are going to bring Honkers along. All right, press the menu button to access the menu. All right. So we want to change around some materia a bit. He has a sense materia equipped, which um, you need it for the for one of the master materias later on. But otherwise, it's one of the most useless materias in the game. Um, let's see. I forget. I forget how we're supposed to get access to. There's the talisman. Fuck it, we'll put that on you. Uh, how are we supposed to get access to everybody's materia? There's a button I can equip or press. Oops, no, we still want to cover in here. Oh, there's a button. Do you remember the dog or the button to get or to unequip everybody's materia? Because I sure as shit don't. Uh, fuck it, we'll go with this for now. Oh, here it is. Um, arrange. Uh, we can exchange materia with somebody who isn't in the party, and from here, we can unequip materia. That's what we gotta do. So we've got Kligs, Honkers, and Cucks a lot. Alright, so from here, let's get rid of that sense. Put restore on him. Let's see, you've got fire, so I don't need a second fire on you. You've got ice, fire, ice, lightning, and restore. This will all get switched around later, unfortunately. Um, there's a lot of kind of annoying switching back and forth here. Um, but we'll be all right. So let's continue on like this for now. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. I want to hit OK. There we go. I'll see you later. We'll be at the 66th floor elevator. Bye, Kanye. All right, so what we got to do now is... Uh, First, we need to grab this materia. Whoops. Enemy skill. Uh, that's one of the most important materias in the game. It's also one of the rarest. You can only ever get three. Um, so what we're going to do is instead of actually continuing on... Oh, we got to go up here to grab those. Receive potion. Receive potion. Let's talk to this guy here, don't you know? Don't kill me. I only did what Hojo told me to do. Here's the key card to the 68th floor. Good job, buddy. Way to be an immediate turncoat. <clears throat> Alright, so we actually do have to follow him onto the next thing. Alright, let's see what clear of items here now. Um, I didn't equip that enemy skill materia, by the way, because we can't even use it yet. Um, so I'm not worried about it. Alright, so we're gonna use Gloss, 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 Splash. Um, on that guy right there. He put Hunkers to sleep, I think? Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, but we can't use it yet because it works in a very specific way that I'll talk about once we get out of, uh, out of this town. Ice 2 already! Jesus. And it doesn't wake her up, unfortunately. So I might actually have to hit her. In fact, we are going to hit her to wake her up. Uh, because I want to use um, her all skill, which is poison all, I think, still. Alright. And then I went and used her limit break instead for some reason. Right. Cure honkers! Cure her of her honkers! Yes, I know, I'm being a giant mouth breathing idiot. Anyways, so what I'm gonna do now is instead of continue on, continuing on since I skipped those those previous floors, I'm going to. Hey, she gained somersault. So, um, cool. Um, since I skipped the floors earlier, I'm gonna go down there and frantically, um, um try to make sure that I finish the rest of these floors because there's a bunch of materia I'll be able to grab here soon. Um. And that is important. Um, get out of my way, woman. Uh, that is important specifically because I can get another all materia here, um, which I need. 
and I will be able to use all those materials as soon as I get out of uh, Shinra headquarters. Um, also, I do want to save here. We're going to get some rest first, and then we're going to save. And we're going to continue on. Stretchy stretch. Um, I'm going to get a lot more um, materia slots here soon, so I'll be able to start working on leveling up some materia. Mm, excuse me. Um, once we get out of Midgar, um, we're going to have a big long story thing we're going to have to do, which will be totally fine. Um, but um, it's important to have as much materia as possible equipped uh, at that point because you uh, that's where you can start to get some really good um, uh, some really good AP uh, to level up your materia. So I will probably off camera unless people want to watch my ass grind um, grind out um, some second levels for a bunch of different materia. All right, so this is the floor we wanted to come to. Uh, this floor is another puzzle room, and there's a bunch of stuff to grab here. Beep, beep, verifying key card. Level B employee and verified. Uh, you're permitted to open doors on this floor up to three times. If you receive an item coupon, remember to exchange it for an item. Warning, refrain from entering the air ducts. So you can open three doors on this floor, um, and the puzzle is get all three of the items in this area, without, um, stuff, without words I can't think of. Um, so you actually have to use the air ducts because you can't physically get everything. Um, so you want to actually use the air, shit, I went the wrong way. You want to use the air ducts to get around and you want to use that final door open, um, to get to one of the items here. So we are going to climb to this second room here, grab the thing, and then use the thing to do the thing, and then go back to the thing, and then climb through the thing and get all the coupons. Oh, fucking back pain. Alright, so we've got the second coupon here. So this is, this is the puzzle, is that's the last door open, now we have all the coupons, and we go back here and climb through the ducts over to the front. Or over to the beginning there. Um, and that's the only way to net everything here. Uh, one of the important things we get here is a um, an armor piece called four slots, uh, which has four slots. So we've got a star pendant, four slots, and an all materia. I should have done this before because that star pendant um, item uh, can get equipped on your characters and it uh, blocks poison, which would have been useful for that boss. Yes, I'm exchanging the coupons. All right, coupon exchange complete. Star pendant, four slot, and all materia. All right. So let's take a look at our materia setups here. Since we have an all here, what we're gonna do is on cucks a lot, we're gonna equip the, uh, the four slots. <clears throat> and we're gonna lose out on all but um, we can still equip the all materia and get it, uh, get the uh, experience points for the materia. Uh, so that's the idea behind that. Oops. Um, and that's gonna net us the most AP before we get out of Midgar. Obviously it's not gonna make a difference. I'm at no point going to sit somewhere and grind out experience to get anything to level two, but it's a, it's a really good way to start off that's the important part for us here is just getting us set up in a good position so that I don't have to waste all of your time grinding on camera which like I said I will do as little of as possible I'll do it off camera all right where are you going everything's everyone's waiting for us at the 66 66th floor there we go that's right okay I'm an idiot I went the wrong way I'm once again wasting time everybody's gonna leave my channel oh my god I'm losing subscribers <laughs> no I'm kidding uh, hello to everybody who's hanging out in the chat, by the way. It's nice to see you. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Oh, God! He wants us to go up. I'm afraid. Would you press up, please? Turks must be a trap. It's a trap! 
These elevators look small as shit, but then you get into a, a really big fight in them later on. So look at this. We get to go see Mr. Shinra Man himself here. Mm-hmm, coffee. Ah, delicious. Delicious coffee. Woo! There we go, that feels better. Nothing like a good cup of coffee in the morning, you guys. Y'all in the chat, are y'all coffee or tea people? I kind of go in between both, but my big, my good standby is coffee. You all got caught too? Well, fuck do I hang out with you people? Where's Martyr? In a safe place. She's the last surviving ancient. Oh, scratch my back. Yeah, that feels good. Don't you know they called themselves the Cetra and lived thousands of years ago, and now they're just a forgotten page in history. Cetra, that girl, she is a survivor of the Cetra. So our doggo friend knows a little bit more than we do at this point. Cetra, or the Ancients, will show us the way to the Promised Land, expecting a lot out of her. Isn't that just a legend? It's too appealing not to pursue when you have infinite money. Said the Promised Land is very fertile. If the land is fertile, then there's gotta be Mako. I don't know why I'm doing that voice for Kanye, Kanye suddenly. Exactly, that is why our money-sucking Mako reactor is necessary. The abundant Mako will just come out on its own. Basically, they don't have to use Mako reactors. Um, they'll just be able to collect energy out of the air. This is where Neon Midgar will be built. Shinra's new glory. Yeah, spit on him! Asshole! Quit dreaming. I'm sure he said something much worse, but... Oh, really? You don't know? These days, all it takes for your dreams to come true is money and power. That kind of holds true... across history. That's all for our meeting. Get the fuck out of here. Come on, out of his way. Hold it, I got a lot I want to say to you. I'm gonna fight you. Ah! It's pretty good. What do you have to say? You say something. If you need something else, sock, talk to my secretary. That's kind of funny. Whew! Half dead here. I wonder how Kanye is doing. I wonder how Cuxalot is doing. I wonder how Martyr is doing. I guess we're going to talk to Martyr first here. I should have talked to Honkers first, but it doesn't matter. None of this matters. Oh, Cliggs, are you there? Martyr, you're safe? Yeah, I'm all right. I knew the Cliggs would come for me. Hey, I'm your bodyguard, right? Still trying to get that date. I'm so thirsty. The deal was for one date, right? Oh, look at there. Honkers is freaking out. She's like, oh, God. I get it. <laughs> You're not interested in my honkers. <laughs> honkers, you are there, too? You want to get involved, too? Excuse me. You know, Martyr, I have a question. It was a very strange way to say that, Honkers. What's up? Does the promised land really exist? <laughs> yeah, it's between my legs. And I'm gonna give it to Kliggs. Something wrong with me. I don't know. All I know is, the Cetra are born from the planet, speak with the planet, and unlock the planet. And then, the Cetra will return to the promised land. A land that promises supreme happiness. You mean like a bouncy castle? Is the promised land just a bouncy castle at a child's birthday? What does that mean? <laughs> More than words, I don't know. Speak with the planet. Yeah, the planet's got a real mouth on it. It's full of people and noisy, that's why I can't make out what they are saying. You hear it now? Nah. I only hear it, heard it at the church in the slums. Mother said that Midgar was no longer safe. That is, my real mother. Someday I'll get out of Midgar, speak with the planet, and find my promised land. That's what Mom said. I thought I would stop hearing her voice as I grew up, but... Nope. <laughs> we get out. Leave it to me. 
Yeah, I'm big and strong. You're so brave. I'm desperate for that D. Let's see how Cuxalot is doing. Let's talk to everybody, why not? Grandpa. It's a weird thing to scream. Grandpa, ha ha ha, Grandpa, hmm, ha ha ha. It's like he's coming in and out of sleep. What's so funny? Nothing, ha ha. Fucking goddamn it, Kanye, you're so goddamn weird. In the game and in real life. I wonder how Kanye. Oh, shit. I wanted to talk to Kanye. Hmm. Yeah, get some good sleep in. The door's open. When did it open? Hey, yo, honkers. You want to smash? You want some fuck? Can't wake her up. We just... That angle's kind of creepy. Let's just sit here and stare at her sleeping for the next hour. You guys are down for that, right? That's not weird or boring. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, God, that guy's fucking dead. <clears throat> what happened? Now we get to wake up honkers. You'd think that would be the first thing you do when your prison door thing is open. <coughs> Excuse me. Something's wrong. Look outside. Let's see. Can I open these yet? Nope. I think I gotta go around and open the thing. I wonder what happened. He should have the key on him. Yep, there we go. Come on, honkers. I'll get martyr. I'll... Or you get honkers. A martyr. Fuck these names! Hey, asshole, come with me. Something's wrong. We're not in prison anymore. <laughs> That's stupid. Actually, I really like this plot development as, like, like a setup for why the fuck we need to continue on once we continue on here. Anyways, no human could have done this. I'll go on ahead. So apparently that guy's supposed to be, like, incredibly fucked up. Obviously, you can't see it because of the, you know, models from 1997, but technically from 95. All right. Come here. Let's follow Cooks a lot. Ah, that's better. Hey, look. It's a guy. You all right? No, he's just straight up dead. What about over here? More dead people. And we have random battles suddenly. Yeah, we had them before. This thing is weird. I don't know how to fight it. I'm afraid. Also, they've unequipped all my materia and thrown it on a bunch of other people. Alright, Martyr has her limit break. And poison heals it. Shit. Well, that was a waste. Get her healing attack in. Shit, no, I don't want to do that. Let's steal from it. See what we get. So unfortunately, Cuxalot has all of our fucking materia at this point, basically. It's a head inside of a bot and it fucking... Son of a bitch. Stole antidote. At this point, we're just going to attack it. Because that's kind of all we can do, honestly. You really want to kill the shit out of Martyr, huh? This entire game is going to be everybody trying to make Martyr live up to her name. Alright. Let's actually look at Materia here. And I think I can equip a uh, Mithril Armlet on you. And put the Star Amulet on you since you were so, uh... Oh no, they just straight up took it off of Cups cu cups a lot? Cucks a lot. Cucks a lot. There we go. Cucks a lot. Who already has seven fucking slots, which is awesome. Wish we could switch out shortly. Uh, we can't really do it right now, so we'll put restore there. Lightning. And all for now. Where's the better all? That all's almost at the next level. As you level up all, you get to use it more times. 
Uh, the first level, you can only use it once. More dead people, and look at that. Look at all this fucking blood. Now we've got blood. A lot of, a lot of fucking blood. Genova specimens. Specimus? Specimen. Looks like it went to the upper floor using that elevator for the specimens. So that thing broke out and killed everybody, right? That's what happened. You guys know that. We will save really quick. <laughs> Whew. Unfortunately, we won't have the ability to change our characters on the fly until we get um, out of the city and through some more stuff, but as it stands, we'll be all right. So let's follow this big-ass trail of blood. It looks like it leads up. No, it looks like it leads through this door. You fucking idiot mouth retard. Let's keep... Unless he scouted ahead. I don't know. Whatever. This is cool. Everything's all fucked up. I like it. It's a carrot thing and a creepy thing. Get you with that bio. Get you with that all bolt too. Hi, Dream Kitty. Welcome back. Oh, look at that thing. It took zero damage from bio. That becomes less of a problem once we get out of here. Couldn't steal anything. Damn. I'm being attacked. Oh my god. And it's dead. Sweet. We actually, I got through, or we're getting through the Shinra building a lot faster than I expected to. Um, not gonna spoil how far through the Shinra building we are or anything like that uh, for people who don't know. Um... I don't think I needed to go this way. I think I needed to go the other way. Our bio will do it. Hold on these guys as well. And that should hopefully... Oh, look, it poisons them too. That's one of the really good things about bio is you can poison regular enemies. So when you're grinding, the first thing you want to do is hit them with bio. Because um, it'll save you a little bit of time once you get uh, further on. I mean, eventually, if you're grinding out levels, um, you'll get to a point where you can just hit them. Let's see, I think I need to go this way. Yeah. Whew. So we just saved down there, so I'm not worried about saving anymore at this point. All right, let's keep on keeping on. What is that? He's got a pool cue. Wait, no. He's got a sword sticking out of his back. Also, why do you need a desk that th that is that large? He's dead. The leader of Shinra Incorporated is dead. We didn't like him anyways. Then this sword must be Sephiroth's. Sephiroth is alive. Hey, how do you guys feel? How do you guys feel about me instead of using Sephiroth, just calling him Edgelord? Cause, um, yeah. Looks like it. Only Edgelord can use that sword. Who cares who did it? It's the end of the Shinra now. Oh! I saw everything! Please don't kill me. What happened? Edgelord! Edgelord came! Did you see Edgelord? Yeah, he was wearing all black and covered in belts. I saw him with my own eyes. He had black lipstick on and way too much mascara. Would I lie to you at a time like this? And I heard his voice too. He sounded like a pissed off 14 year old child and he said something about not letting us have the promised land and what does that mean the promised land really exists and edgelord is here to save it from shinra i'm gonna piss off somebody with that shit <laughs> so he's a good guy then save the promised land a good guy no way it's not that simple i know him edgelord's mission is different it's to bed chicks working at hot topic Rufus, shit, I forgot about him. Who's that? Vice President Rufus, the president's son. Now I get to talk to people. I've heard no one's ever seen him bleed or cry. If he's an edgelord, lots of people have seen his ass cry. Probably while listening to My Chemical Romance. Yeah! Yeah, fuck you, MCR fan. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder what kind of person he is. 
I heard he's been assigned somewhere else for a long time. I only know his name. So let's run out here and deal with this helicopter. No, I'm kidding. Let's deal with this orange-haired buck. So, so Edgelord was actually here, by the way. Who are you guys? I'm Kliggs. Poorly named soldier first class. I'm Kanye from that bad music video on that bike. Honkers, same here. A flower girl from the slums. A research specimen. What a motley crew. <laughs> Well, I'm Rufus, the president of Shinra Incorporated. The only president because your old man died. That's right. I'll let you hear my new appointment speech. Fuck all y'all. Y'all go fuck yourself. No. Old man tried to control the world with money. It seems to have been working. They could just kill him. They could just kill him right now. The population thought that Shinra would protect them. Work at Shinra, get your pay if a terrorist attack Shinra army will help you. It looks perfect on the outside. But I do things differently. I'll control the world with fear. I'm gonna build some nukes. Takes too much to do it like my old man. A little fear will control the minds of the common people. No reason to waste money on them. He likes to make speeches just like his father. Get out of this building with martyr. What? I'll explain later, Kanye. This is the real crisis for the planet. Fuck you! That's stupid. That's the stupidest thing anyone's ever said. The hell's that sp- I agree with you for once, Kanye. Do you like fish sticks? <laughs> Take my word for now. I'll kill this guy. All right, Kleegs. All right, so now we split up the party and run around and do crazy shit. We are the misfit toys. Oh no! <laughs> oh God. I just thought of something. What? I'll wait for Cliggs. Everyone get to the elevator. So this is good. Um, we get to do stuff later. Um, I don't know. That's the most vague, dumb thing I've ever seen. Cliggs and Honkers materia, leave it as it is. Actually, I should have removed it. Ah, fuck. We might have a little trouble with our next couple fights here. I should have removed... That's right, because this one goes first. Crap! Eh, well, it's too late to back out now. Cucks a lot. Oh, wait, we've got extra materia floating around, so this won't be too disastrous. And since, uh, since Martyr has bolt, it'll actually help us out. I should have... I should have held on to that, uh, that limit break, though. Bam! You dead. And now you are dead. We are the best. We're just standing in pools of blood. Also, where did all the blood come from? What bleeds that much? Could make a poor joke here, but I won't. Because I'm a good man, damn it. Alright, we got that. You, let's get fire and ice. Sense, and fuck it, we'll throw enemy skill on, although it's useless at this point. It doesn't have any, like, negative... Where's my fucking character? There it is. It doesn't have any negative detractors, so it's not that big a deal. Alright. Let's take this elevator. Let's go. This part's cool. This is the only time you have a fight like this. Um... So this is the first time where long range becomes an issue. That's the supposed to be the glass breaking, by the way. I think it looks cool. So this enemy cannot get hit by physical attacks. This enemy can only get hit by uh, long range attacks. And at this point, uh, Mar uh, not Martyr, Kanye is the only person with a long range attack. Uh, that is why we have to use... I think Sled Fang will be able to hit it. That's why we have to use uh, magic with the other two characters, because they have a physical attack that isn't long range. Um, it becomes kind of an issue with flying enemies later on, uh, but it's not that big of a deal throughout the game. It's just one more thing to think about, to be perfectly honest. Uh, but I still think it's a cool, uh, cool game mechanic. Oh shit, was that it? I think we... Nope, we haven't destroyed this thing. It's still going to start blowing us up. And this isn't the only part of the fight. This is like a two or three part fight here or something. 
Like I said in the last stream, though, probably about the same time we were getting gang-raped by a bunch of, uh, dudes in that, uh, that bathhouse, um, there's no real challenge to this part of the game. Next thing we're gonna have Marta do is, uh, get some heals out here. Hello to everybody in the chat, by the way. I hope you're enjoying the stream. I'm definitely enjoying playing the game. When I first started streaming this, I was like, eh, I've played this so much, I'm kind of sick and tired of the game. Um, but, like, as I'm getting into it now, I'm having a ton of fun, and I'm, like, looking forward to streaming it more, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully you guys will enjoy hanging around with it. All right, we've almost destroyed this thing. <clears throat> We're almost there. Get another Kirin. Cure Kanye here. Keep hitting him with magic attacks. Axelot doesn't have an all spell on it. Um, in terms of character levels, um, I'm not too worried about uh, character levels. Once I start grinding outside of uh, Midgar, it's not going to become an issue. And um, if ever I get a character that's way too low level that I'm going to have to actually use at some point, I will um, obviously grind out levels for him off stream. Off stream? Yeah, off stream, that works. He blew us up. Alright. Fire, fire, and. Oh, perfect! A healing wind limit break. Yeah, let's get it. I'll take a sip of my coffee. Mm. Delicious. <clears throat> cool. So that wasn't necessarily considered a boss fight, but uh, oh boy, that thing had a lot of. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That thing had a lot of uh, hit points, like a boss fight. This is a cool uh, design for an enemy, I think. This is also, I think, one of the only times, if not the only time, you ever see this thing. Yeah, this part in the game was weird the first time you played through it, because you didn't know what to expect, so when it gives you the opportunity to remove materia, you're like, no, why would I do that? I'm just going to have these same characters, right? And then you get into this fight with... Oops, I accidentally clicked defend. That's kind of annoying. Uh, and then you get into you get into this fight, and you might not have anything fucking equipped on your characters. Alright. So he put that guy to sleep, he put Kanye to sleep, and he poisoned his ass. Wow. So we're going to use an antidote on him. And luckily he woke his ass up, so there's my one antidote. <clears throat> Get a bolt attack on you. Luckily, I have one character with Bolt, uh, which goes a long way since we're only fighting mechanical enemies here. Um, and then as long as I keep using... Like, I could use Kanye's fire spell that I have equipped on him, but there's no real point since he's a long-range fighter. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, very cool. Keep hitting with these Bolt attacks. Oh no! It's doing something! Oh, God! Alright, next thing we'll have Martyr do is get some, uh... Get some cure spells out. First on herself, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I guess we won't need to. Because that thing's dead. Alright, and that fight's done with. And now we go on to what is considered a real boss battle. Here. Access menu with triangle button, remove materia from other members with square, end with the start button. Uh, okay, you've got full health, so... They also change up the way you go through this stuff, which is kind of annoying, because the buttons are different every time, and you have to actually look at the prompts. Why do you want to fight me? You seek the promised land and edgelord. I love that. I love edgelord. Hmm, exactly. Did you know that Edge Lord is an ancient? I'm an ancient mom. You don't understand. Stop making me take out the trash. I hate you, mom. A lot has happened. Anyways, I can't let either you or Edge Lord have the promised land. 
I see. I guess this means we won't become friends. Now we get to fight this asshole and his dog. His dog's a bigger problem than he is, so we're going to deal with the dog first. I'm also going to use magic attacks on the dog. Because the dog's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, the dog puts up, puts up barrier and I think shell on him as well. Um, so you basically get free hits on the damn dog to begin with here. Um, oh good, you wasted it on yourself too. It's not animal abuse if it's a video game. Because, yeah, his barrier reduces my physical attack by a lot. But he's dead already, so, you know, fuck it. Also, his shotgun attack is uh, pretty badass, actually. Uh, cross Slash is good for here, uh, because that guy's damage output can be as high as yours. Uh, but Cross Slash stops enemies for a fair amount of time. So, oh, God, that was a fucking waste. Um, so I can get free hits on him, and I can also use the opportunity to heal, maybe with the high potion, though I won't be doing that till later. Uh, the good news is I can take, what, three more hits from him as long as he doesn't crit me before I really need to... Uh, before I really need to heal myself. Alright, so we're gonna get one more magic attack in, and then we'll heal ourselves. Although, hopefully we won't need to. This fight actually goes... Yeah, so here, I'll take one more hit, but I'll get a high potion off, so. Oh, wait, is this suddenly it? No, he's just wasting a turn laughing at me. Good job laughing at me, because now I'm at full health, and I'm going to slap the ever-loving shit out of you. Ow! And his barrier hasn't worn off yet, unfortunately, so. we got to keep hitting him with magic. He should be done in one or two turns here. Especially with the limit breaks. <clears throat> Which might also break the barrier. I can't remember if barrier is based on number of hits or time in this game. Oh, there we go. That's all for today. We did it. Look at that upper body strength. You just hang on to the helicopter. That's cool. Hey, look, another level for Kliegs. And a protect, pe protect, pe pe protect vest and guard source. Um, so we'll do a quick arrange. Arrange by type here. Whoops. Um, so you get these items, uh, source items, and what they do is they permanently... Oh, stretch your arms out. That's what they do. No, they permanently um, increase uh, one statistic for a character. Uh, they're best used early on, and they're best used as often as possible. There's... Two rules, or there's two tra uh, schools of thought in how to use those things. One is to use them to shore up um, weaknesses in one of your characters, and the other one is to jam it into the character you're going to have with you the most, which is obviously going to be the main character. I tend to fall into that second train of thought. Oh, I want to equip the, the protect vest on him as well. Um, because you're almost always going to have your main character with you, so why not have your main character as overpowered as fuck? Um, because it does go a very long way towards, <clears throat> excuse me, it goes a very long way towards actually being able to, uh, survive fights later on. Because if you get hit with one big attack and you've got at least one character that can weather it outright, then you can from there, um, heal yourself back up and, um, uh, come back from the brink. Looks like things could get complicated. Everything's fucked up. Everything's going bad bad happen. Right, let's go. Try to go out the front here. I'll go on ahead. I'm Kanye. I want the spotlight. Gunfire. Shit. Surrounded, huh? If I was alone, this wouldn't be a thang. But I've got a reputation to protect. So it's not about protecting the people. It's about protecting your reputation. You all get out while you can. It's not you they're after, it's me. Way to be a martyr, martyr. Yeah, well, that ain't happening. You got caught up in this over Marlene. Now it's my turn to watch out for you. Okay, playtime's over for you, Jack Assassin's. Thank you, Mr. Kanye. Who you calling Mr. Kanye? It's Kanye. Ass. Well then, 
you're through talking, may I suggest we think of a way to get out of here? Huh? Oh yeah, you a cold man. Just like someone else round here, I know. Did you say something? <laughs> Fucking cucks a lot is an awesome name. Not a thing. Now, so what are we gonna do? Kanye! Alright, so here's the coolest, like, end to a sequence ever. Honker, where's Kleegs? Everyone over here. Huh, oh, what's up? Where's Kleegs? I'll tell you later. Hurry, hurry. Yeah, y'all ready for this shit? Uh, yeah. Fucking motorcycle, bitch. Uh-oh, looks like we got a badass here. Cut to the gif. <laughs> so this hallway is full of vehicles and they all get into the same truck for some reason. Hang on. So this is one of the cool mini games I was talking about in the last stream. This part's actually really fucking cool. They keep cutting to that bike. The guy who modeled that bike is like, God damn it! You're gonna put this shit in the CG cutscene. You're gonna keep cutting to the thing. It's gonna be bike, titties, bike, titties, bike, hot wings, bike, haircut. Just like every commercial everywhere. Yeah. So we get to beat people to death with our damn uh, thing here. All right, so we're gonna switch him out for her. Uh, we're gonna go through the, uh, the materia shit here. All right, you've got the material shit we need. And we need to exchange, take it off of Kanye, and take it off of Martyr, and then we will equip, oops, equip everything onto these two. All right. So, no, actually I have a fire all and lightning all. So we're gonna do a fire all. Oh shit, um, get rid of your sense. We got poison all. Get rid of poison. We're gonna put lightning all on you. And we're gonna put restore on you. Skill. I wanna get the AP on those. The sense one isn't that big a deal. How do the cars work? I don't know, dude. You got rid of all her sense. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's start game! That's such a cool fucking prompt. Alright. So we get to fight the fuck out of people here. On this cool little... Fuck. Fuck. I actually totally suck at this, so... Shit. 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 I'm showing my ass live on stream. Yeah, we hit it. Um, so how much damage they take... Uh, directly uh, translate to uh, directly translates to the next fight you have here, um, which is kind of annoying. But there we go. There's a good hit. Slowly getting the hang of it. Yeah, yeah. Fuck your couch. Fuck, fuck, fuck your couch. No, no. There's so many. God, shit. There we go. I want to apologize for my, my inability to play the game live on stream. Balls exposed. <laughs> Woo! Shit, no! They're killing my friends! They're fucking up my truck. This is going to hurt the resale value. Because that's all I'm worried about is, you know, the resale value. What kind of annoys, not annoys me, but what kind of always struck me as strange is like, they have these vehicles in this game, but there's barely any actual roads in this game. Like, it, it would make more sense if they'd actually modeled roads into the, into the world map once you get to it, but you run out there and there's fucking nothing. In fact, half the time to get from town to town, you have to go through some convoluted, oh, this fucking, yeah! I suck. In fact, once you're out in the world map, in order to get from town to town, like 90% of the time, you have to go through these convoluted, like, cave mazes, or... There's... Oh, shit! This... Look at this thing! Anyways, you have to go through a bunch of crazy bullshit. 
We're at the end of the road, you guys. It's the end. It's going to murder us. Actually, I think this thing gets a cheap hit in on us right away, doesn't it? I don't remember. Oh, good stretch. I am so sore. Back attack. No. Actually, this is good because it'll get our, our limits up right away. Son of a bitch. Why would you do that to us? All right, so this is bad if you have people in different rows right in the beginning. Uh, luckily, we don't here. All right. Don't think there's any reason to have all equipped on any of these guys, but we're gonna, we are going to just drench this guy in lightning bolts. Because uh, obviously, mechanical enemy, weak to it. Uh, but this, does Bio do anything? That would be funny if I could poison this stupid machine. I get a laugh out of that. Does it work? Nope. In fact, it doesn't e it can't even hit it. I'm an idiot for even trying. I'm sorry. Nah, it's not gonna make a deal. Uh, fire, ice, and fire. That's fine. I just keep using fire here. Oh god! It's transforming! More than meets the eye! Twin burner. Ah, it's just a flamethrower attack. And there we go. Good, uh, good limit break here. Um, so the way Honkers' this, this, this limit break thing works is actually really cool. Every time you get a new level with the limit break, uh, what happens is instead of you getting a different attack, it adds more attacks to her limit break spell um, uh, to the point at the end where I think you end up with like, like somewhere between 9 and 12 slots, which means 9 and 12 uh, opportunities to hit the enemy. Uh, some of which suck, because some of them are just like 100% misses all the time. Um, but once you get into the later ones, you end up getting finishers um, that execute based on how well you did um, you did your attack. Or am I thinking of Zell from 8? I can't fucking remember off the top of my head. Okay, you need to carry yourself. Um, but you get more powerful attacks as you go, and it stacks on top of the old attack. So hers ends up becoming one of the useful, like, one of the really useful... Uh, ooh, I want to use it on yourself. Uh, one of the useful uh, base limit breaks in the game. Um, Kligs and um, Kanye's are by far the best. Uh, for some, oh, look, we killed it. For uh, some very specific reasons, and they're part of some... Um, Kanye specifically is part of a gimmick gimmick build you use to destroy some of the Ultima weapons at the end of the game. Uh, some of the optional bosses I was talking about before. Um, hmm, scratch my nose. Um, but normally you want to you wanna prioritize those limit breaks that do um, like chain damage. Alright, so this was the end of Midgar. Well, what do we do now? Edgelord is alive. I, I have to settle the score. He stole my girl from Hot Topic. And that'll save the planet? Seems like it. That's very, like... That's stupid. You're stupid. All right, I'm going. Where everybody decides, fuck it, we'll go along. Meet. I'll go too. I have things that I want to find out. About the ain't chance? Many things. I guess this is goodbye, Midgar. Cool. So this is the finale of Midgar. We fucking did it, you guys. We did it in under five hours. That's actually not too bad. So at this point, I can talk to everybody. I guess this is the start of our journey. It's dangerous. Are you sure you want to go, or you hate traveling? I'll ask her. I don't know, but I don't have anywhere else to go, so I guess it doesn't really matter whether I like to travel or not. You know what? This is the first time I've ever left Midgar. Really? You worried? A little, no, maybe a lot, but I have my bodyguard, right? Oh, we gonna smash. Her name Becky. Becky wants some fuck. I'm going to my hometown. I'll go with you as far as that. And what do you have to say, Kanye? Oh, let's go. Uh, we cannot get back into Midgar until close to the very end of the game. We need a group leader for our journey. Of course, only me could be the leader due to my excellent grammar. You think so? <laughs> it would have to be Kligs. I'm gonna have to explain his name every fucking stream. 
Fuck! Alright, go northeast to a town called Calm. If something happens, we'll meet up there. Alright, so before we get to Calm, we're gonna do a teeny bit of grinding because I want to get a spell right in the beginning. It doesn't matter if I do it now or later, but I want to show off uh, this spell I'm about to get and I want to talk about it. Um, besides, we can't have five people strolling through the fields. It's too dangerous. That's stupid. I feel like strength in numbers would be better. Uh, split us into two parties. Alright, we're gonna go with the same one we had, which was uh, clicks, honkers, and cucks a lot. Um, like I said, I'll worry about I'll worry about level differences and shit later. Later at com. Um, also, another important reason you want to grind out levels right here in the beginning, before or after that story mode, is um, once you start having to buy a lot of stuff, you don't want to have to like stop especially in the middle of a stream, and uh, grind out cash. So grinding out a ridiculous amount of cash now will help us out later. So for all of you who played this back in the day, and I'm sure every single person here has played this game back in the day, this was the oh fuck moment when you found out that there was an entire world outside of Midgar. This was the big, like, you guys need to see this moment. Uh, let's see, we need to fuck with the materia here. All right. So, um, we're going to keep steel on because getting to mug is important, but we're going to equip enemy skill on cucks a lot here. Um, and I'm only going to grind here for now um, until I'm able to get uh, the first enemy skill in the game, which is a skill called Matro Magic. Um, and the reason we need to grind to do that, for those of you who aren't aware, which hopefully everybody in the chat is aware, but this video is going to go up on demand and somebody who's never seen this shit before uh, is going to have to see it. All right, the first fucking thing we get, perfect. Okay, so that is match or magic. That is an enemy skill. Um, and uh, the way you get enemy skills in this game is you have to survive getting hit by the enemy skill um, um, when fighting the enemies. So you have to actually seek out the enemies and get hit with the, the, the attack in order to get it. And one of the reasons match or magic is important um, is because it is a non-elemental magic attack that hits all enemies. Um, and it always hits all enemies. You don't need an all attack equipped with it. Um, another reason it's important is because... Here, I'll actually go to calm right away here. Um, but if you look at materia here, um, if you look at the stats and everything down here, um, it shows you what the equip effect is. So for lightning here, actually, we'll go right over here. Uh, for fire here, which is the same as lightning and all the base magic attacks, uh, magic materia, I should say, the equip effect, you lose one strength, gain one magic, your max hit points goes down by 2%, and your max magic points goes up by 1%. Um, enemy skill is the only um, magic skill materia in the game that doesn't have any um, stat differences. So what you can do is you can build an all-rounder character that's focused on doing physical damage and then equip them with a good enemy skill um, uh, materia to still be able to use magic. So if you have a if you have a character that isn't long range, who's your melee guy, which will probably be Cligs in this playthrough I'm doing here. Um, you'll want to equip a good enemy skill materia on him so that if push comes to shove, he can hit him with a mantra magic or he can heal without having any of the stat penalties. Um, once you get towards the end of the game, you get these things called ultimate weapons. Once again, I think everybody in the chat knows. Um, but the ultimate weapons, uh, each of them gets um, a power up to the attack based on specific things for specific characters. Clouds is based on his hit points. So um, having Cloud with as many hit points as possible increases his um, his damage, his actual damage output. Um, so equipping something like magic or summons on him that reduces his, um, reduces his hit points by a lot ends up not being beneficial um, in the long run. To, oh wow, we killed the shit out of that thing already. Uh, ends up not being beneficial in the long run um, especially right at the end of the game where damage matters. Um, so having a good enemy skill materia equipped actually ends up being incredibly beneficial. Um, 
So I think at some point, um, I think we're going to have a couple streams intermittently where it's just go through the world and grab um, enemy skills. Yeah, so did I. I actually, I think I didn't discover it on my until my like second playthrough. Um, I thought enemy skill was worthless. I never, I mean, when I played it, I was a kid. I didn't even have access to the internet. I, no, I had access to the internet in 97. What the fuck am I saying? But I didn't have access to a guide, and I never thought about looking it up. Um, so here we are. We're in calm. Everyone's waiting in the end. Let's go, Cligs. Um, so this will be the second part of our stream here, um, which is going to be grinding out a bunch of shit. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go through the flashback that gives everybody the backstory on Sephiroth and what's going on with the planet and everything like that. Just item store. First, we're gonna buy some things. Um, then I think we'll take a quick like. Uh, fuck 45 second break and then from there we will go through that so here we go the materia store I don't think there's any more material okay yeah, there is we want to buy earth uh, and we want to buy heal uh, those are some important ones for later um, I hope I'm explaining it well um, I've actually discovered that a lot of the stuff I'm doing in these games a lot of people didn't know about um, for instance, in the bathhouse, um, some of the people in my last stream, uh, they'd never seen the part where, where um, Cloud gets picked by Don Corneo, and they'd never seen the part where you um, have group sex with a bunch of dudes in the in the bathhouse when you're grinding out the parts for, or the, the stuff for the cross-dressing thing. Um, so I, I, that was fun. Anyways, this is a weapon store. This is the reason... Uh, well, not the reason, but this is the most important part of this town. Oh, shit. I don't have any goddamn money. Looks like I'm going to have to buy these things later. So I'll deal with that later. Uh, but all of these have more um, materia slots uh, than the previous equip. So it helps with uh, leveling up the materia stuff. The honeybee. In yeah. Some people didn't know all of the depraved shit you can do in the honeybee inn. So I... I I unfortunately retroactively ruined some people's childhoods. Let's talk to you, Mr. Kliggs. Yeah, I, I would pause before reading that name, too. Your party is waiting for you on the second floor. Let's go up. Woohoo! Kliggs, you're late. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the menu right here. And I am very quickly going to... Um, take a, like a 45 second one minute break I've been drinking a lot of coffee and water so hopefully you understand uh, hopefully you'll be here when I get back um, oops if not uh, definitely leave a follow with the channel um, if you're interested in more of this stuff because um, I will be streaming a lot more Final Fantasy 7 in the future so yay alright I will see you guys in a second thanks for bearing with me here
Hey, you guys. Hey, I'm back. Thanks for bearing with me, y'all. Oh, let's fix that really quick. There we go. All right, let's continue on here. Man, getting up felt really good. I did, I ended up hiking about 20 miles yesterday uh, through the clouds and some mountains out here. And I am quite sore from that. So getting up and moving around feels real good. All right, y'all ready for the exposition part of the stream? Sorry to keep you waiting. Guess everyone's here now. So let's hear your story. You know, the one about Edge Lord and the crisis facing the planet. Let's hear it all. I used to want to be like Edge Lord, so I joined Soldier. After working with Seph Edge Lord <laughs> on several missions, we became friends. You call that a friend? Yeah, well, he's older than me, and he hardly ever talked about himself. Honkers is like, that's not how it happened, asshat. So I guess you'd call him a war buddy. We trusted each other until one day. One day? I always hated this part because it's like, no, you have to sit down and do an hour of this bullshit. After the war, it was soldiers' duty to put down any resistance against the Shinra. They're talking about that war against the Wutai in the beginning. That was five years ago. I was 16. Hey, look, there's Edgelord. Look at how much of an Edgelord that Edgelord is. It sure is raining hard. God, my nose itches. Hey, how are you doing? I'm gonna die. I'm all right. I wouldn't know. I've never had motion sickness. Everything okay? Mm, excuse me, shit. Ew, I'm gross. Gross on stream. Balls exposed. Hey. Settle down. They gave me some new materia. I can't wait to use it. Look at him doing squats. Just like a kid. Oh, he's fucking 16! <clears throat> this isn't a typical mission. Good. Why do you say that? I joined soldiers so I could be like you, but by the time I made first class, the war was already over. My big hopes of becoming a hero like you ended with the war. That's why I always sign up whenever there's a big mission. Kind of a way to prove myself. Say, how do you feel, Mr. Edgelord? I thought you wanted a briefing. <laughs> Our mission is to investigate an old Mako reactor. There have been reports of it malfunctioning and producing brutal creatures. First we dispose of the creatures, then we locate the problem and neutralize it. The problem. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Brutal creatures? Where? The Mako reactor at Nibelheim. Nibelheim. Ah, oh, shit. That's where I'm from. Look, there's some chick there. She wants my nuts. We're just gonna... We're gonna pretend like I don't know her. But that's where I'm from. Hmm. <laughs> hometown. Uh-oh. That would be our monster. This part's kind of cool. Um... Because you're a level one piece of shit, and Sephiroth is like level 50, I think. Also, you can't do anything, and usually you get fucking murdered, like, in the very first 30 seconds of this fight. Oh, look. He full healed me for some reason. Uh, that's a skill we'll be working towards later. A full heal. And he kills me again! If this turns into a... Oh, there we go. He killed it. I didn't get any experience because I'm fucking dead. I'm dead. I died. End of story. Continue on with game. No. <laughs> Edgelord's strength is unreal. He is far stronger in reality than any story you might have heard about him. So where do you come in? My pants. Me? I was mesmerized by the way Edgelord fought. Huh. And then we reached Nibelheim. How does it feel? Feels bad, man. First time in your hometown in a long time, right? So how does it feel? I wouldn't know because I don't have a hometown. How about your parents? My mother is Geneva. She died right after she gave birth to me. My father... Ha 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 ha. Male genitalia. Ha 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 ha. What does it matter? <laughs> Alright, let's go. 
Aw oh, man, everybody's leaving. Nobody wants to watch this shitty part. Oh god. <laughs> Should I show my nipples? Will that get more more viewers? <sighs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's talk to these assholes. It's so boring being on watch. You wanna do what we always do? Shall we practice? <laughs> practice cool stance! <laughs> Gotta have a cool stance! So stupid. Good job. Scratch my nose. I don't I really don't want to be in soldier. What about this asshole? Keep wandering around here, you get in trouble. I don't give a shit. The Mako smell is pretty bad here. I didn't know you could smell that shit. Yo, wait a minute. What? Isn't that uh the name of Sephiroth's mother? I remember Geneva, that's that damn headless spook living in the Shinra building. That's right. Would you please let us hear what Kliggs has to say? You can ask questions later, you big asshole. <laughs> okay, Kliggs, continue. <laughs> it's a reunion of childhood pals. I was really surprised with those honkers. <laughs> the town was quiet. Everyone must be staying in their houses, afraid to come out because of the monsters. No, oh, maybe they're afraid of us. We leave for the reactor at dawn, go to sleep early. I think you can actually go around here and talk to people, so I'm going to do that really quick, actually. All we need is one lookout so you others get some rest. God damn it, can't come stop scratching my fucking nose. Oh, that's right. You may visit your family and friends. Look at this guy. I heard Edgelord was coming, and I got my camera ready. I want a shot of Edgelord and the monster. Take my picture. I don't take pictures with nobody. Suck my ass. I came to help you. Welcome. Aren't you... Have I come here before? I don't remember. Now you're pissing me off. Doesn't matter. Get on with it. So... That's kind of there to give you an idea. Like, the translation is bad. But the idea is that... Um... He doesn't remember everything as well as he probably should have. This is my house. It has nothing to do with that incident five years ago. Yo, wait. I want to hear. Me too. It's been a long time, right? Tell us more. You saw your family, right? Ah, fine. I don't know if I could call it a family. My father died when I was still very young. That's when my mom was living alone in this house. Yeah, I saw my mom. My mom, she was a vibrant woman, hadn't changed at all. But a few days later, she died. But when I saw her, she looked fine. You know why she... <laughs> They don't want to give it away for people who haven't watched this fucking shit before. Uh... Yes? Oh, my baby! I can't believe it! My baby! Oh, Lord, my baby! Hi, Mom. Come, come. Let me take a look at you. You're so fucking scrawny! Sorry, I just remember it from the... Yeah. He looks so handsome. Oh, never mind. Doesn't she yell at him for being skinny as fuck? You look like one of those Japanese male models. Mom, I... My, how you've grown. I bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temptations in the city. I'd feel a lot better if you just settled down and had a nice girlfriend. I'm all right. We saw this part in a flashback. You should have an older girlfriend. One that'll take care of you. <laughs> should mooch off of some cougar, bro. Not interested. Damn it. Are you eating all right? I'm all right. Company takes care of me. Is that so? You can't cook, right? I was worried sick about how you were doing. Kliggs. You know Kliggs. Isn't that right, Kliggs? I'll always be your mother. Very true. Let's stop this. All right, let's keep going. We've got just pretty much one more house to look through. Kliggs, did you go into my house? Yeah. I thought you might be home. Y'all ready for some camity? Some camity. <laughs> here comes the comedy. It's not here. Wait, it's over here. Yep, over here. Kliggs, did you go into my room? Yeah. Look at them panties. Actually, that's the joke. 
Received orthopedic underwear. She's so big she needs special underwear. <laughs> it's true! I stole your fucking underwear! We're talking about something really important here. I'm just gonna ignore this and be scarred forever. So there's there's your joke. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. I stole her underwear. I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> Wait, I think this one... There's one It's a shop. That's the most important place to go, I think. Oh, never mind. Never mind. That's not until later. Whoops! I wasted everybody's time. Except for the whole underwear thing. It's important that we grab that underwear for no reason other than, hey, underwear. Oh, yeah, this is the guy. Here. It was where we wanted to go. Hmm. Is Shinra here to get rid of the monsters? And who are you? I'm Zangin. I travel around the world teaching children martial arts. Oh, my back. I have 128 students all over the world. In this town, a girl named Honkers is my student. Did you say Honkers? Honkers has good sense. She'll be a powerful fighter. So that's your little background on why she knows how to fight. And why she knows the martial arts. Let's go up here and talk to this at. What are you looking at? The scenery. I feel like I know this place. Let's go to bed. Can we go to bed here? No, I think we got to keep talking to that ass. Talk to you. We're short one bed. We have an early start tomorrow. You should get some sleep soon. Yeah, let's get some sleep. I've hired a guide to the Mako reactor. I've heard she's young. I hope we can rely on her. Is she reliable in the Japanese sense? <clears throat> All right, here we go. This part's pretty cool, actually. Like the once the guide gets here, we're heading out. Listen to me, Edge Lord. In case something happens, trust me. I'll be all right, Dad. I have two men from Soldier with me. I'm Honkers. Nice to meet you. You're the guide. That's right. You just happen to be the number one guide in this town. It's too Dagnarius. I can't involve you in something like this. Then there's no problem if you protect her. Let's go. The logic is kind of dumb. Mr. Edgelord, please let me take one picture as a memento. Honkers, can you ask him too? In front of this creepy old fucking house that's all walled off and stuff. Time for the photograph. Jeez. Great, thank you. I'll give each of you a copy once I get it developed. Now for some cool CG. Look at this crazy ass looking mountain. A maker reactor was built there. The cold air of the mountains of Nibble, it was no different. I know it's probably like Nibel or something, but I don't care. Also, look at that dumbass that thing. Alright, let's go. Hey look guys, a bridge. They actually give you some really interesting information about uh, what materia is and how it forms here. Uh, which I really like uh, for a background story thing. It's harder from here, follow me. Let's keep on keeping on, uh oh. And we're all dead. They survived some fucking falls in this game. We're dead. I don't think you can grab an item here, but um, eventually you do come back to this location later in the game. Um, in the present. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Can, can we get back? Um, then you can get a bunch of cool items in here. The area is kind of gigantic, actually. These caves are intertwined just like an ant farm. Oh, an edgelord. There seems to be one person missing. It may sound cold, but we've got no time to search for him. Must go on. We'll stick together now. I mean, that's what we were doing already, but, you know. Um, yeah, we want to head up this way. I don't think we run into any random battles at this point. It's purely exposition. What's this? A mysteriously colored cave. 
must be the Mako energy. This mountain is especially abundant in it, that's why the reactor was built here. Homer Simpson handles the controls. Run through. Oh, hey, I guess I was wrong. As usual, about everything. There's no point to random battles here, so we want to run through as quickly as possible. Um, although Sephiroth makes that kind of easy. Because he sits here and uses these crazy spells, and you see him and you're like, Oh my god, I want to use all of those. This is not that big a deal. Um, you get much better spells than what he has. It's just that at this point, if you haven't seen it yet, it looks fucking crazy. Uh, shit, give me one second here, guys. Actually, here, we'll get up to the text, and then I'm going to do it. Look at this crazy shit, and listen to that, listen to that, that noise. Okay, here we go. And what's this? Sorry, I got to double check something. Oh, the hard, hard life of a streamer. No, I'm kidding. Got to check it, got to check it. Gotta check it. Na, 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 na. Okay, there we go. All right, cool. Sorry about that. Let's continue on. And what's this? Mako Fountain. It's a miracle of nature. It's so beautiful! You actually run into these later in the game as some, like, super secret endgame shit um, that you have to do special minigames and stuff for. Um, and they all have, like, some of the best uh, materia in the game there. Uh, if the Maker Reactor continues to suck up all the energy, this fountain will dry up, too. Right. Scratch your nose, scratch your nose. Look at that. Looks cool. Materia. When you condense Mako energy, Materia is produced. It's very rare to be able to see Materia in its natural state. By the way, is that when you use... Is that... Why is it that when you use Materia, you can also use magic too? You were in Soldier and didn't even know that? The knowledge and wisdom of the ancients is held in the Materia. Anyone with this knowledge can freely use the powers of the land and the planet. That knowledge interacts between ourselves and the planet, calling up magic, or so they say. Magic, a mysterious power. And she's just like, I don't give a shit. Ha ha ha. Did I say something funny? A man once told me never to use an unscientific term such as mysterious power. It shouldn't even be called magic. I still remember how angry he was. Who was that? Ho Joe. An inexperienced asshole. He was a walking mass of complexes. That could have been translated better. A Mako Fountain. So this is where the knowledge of the ancients is. And continuing on. This is going faster than I remembered it. I just remembered hating the fact that you get stuck in a flashback for so long where you can't, you know, focus on your characters or anything. I always found that kind of annoying. Let's, whoops, nope, we want to go up here. That's not what we're going to do. I'm going to move that up. Sorry, guys. Perfect, okay. We finally made it. We sure took the long way, though. You wait here. I'm going. I want to see... It's actually interesting that they leave this shit around here with, like, nobody there to actually physically check on it. Only authorized people are allowed in, full of industrial secrets. So why do you not guard it? But, take care of the lady. Nah, girl. Your name ain't on the list. You better take real good care of me. You know, I'm saying it before. Yeah. So this is the first different Mako reactor you find, because the ones in uh, the ones in Midgar would both look pretty much exactly the same, uh, which makes sense because at that point it's like a standardized reactor. And I would have a feeling when they're putting in these reactors all over the world, 
they would have to like customize each to the location. What is this bullshit? It says Genova. All right, this is the reason for the malfunction. This part is broken, clicks, close the valve. Doesn't this shit look ominous as fuck? Why did it break? Literally one little part was making these giant murder monsters. Now I see Hojo, but even doing this will never put you on the same level as Professor Gast. This is a system that condenses and freezes the Mako energy, that is, when it's working correctly. Now, what does Mako energy become when it's further condensed? It becomes materia. Right. But Hojo put something else in there. Take a look. Look through the window. Okay! Oh, God! It's your mom! Ha ha ha! What is this? Normal members of Soldier are humans that have been showered with Mako. You're different from the others, but still human. What are they? They've been exposed to a high degree of Mako, far more than you. Is this some kind of monster? Exactly, and it's Hojo of Shinra that produced these monsters. Mutated living organisms produced by Mako energy, that's what these monsters are. Normal members of Soldier, you mean you're different? Hey! Edgelord. No. Was I? Oh, shit. He's getting all angry. Was I created this way, too? Am I the same as these monsters? Edgelord. He's freaking out, brah. Why you doing this, brah? You saw it. All of them were humans. Human, no way. So he just jammed a bunch of abducted people in there. I've always felt since I was small that I was different from the others, special in some way. That's why you're an edgelord, but not like this. Uh-oh. It looks angry about existing. Oh shit. That actually looks totally horrific. Here's the thing, that thing pops open and then we never focus on it again, it's just there. Like, I would assume that they killed it, but, you know, yeah. Am I human? I didn't quite understand what Edgelord was saying at the time. I was even more surprised by that fact that Shinra was producing monsters. Damn Shinra, the more I hear, the more I hate him. I'm Kanye. Who would have ever thought the Maker Reactor held a secret like that? That would seem to explain the increase in the number of monsters recently. <laughs> I think we should listen carefully to Kliggs, don't you too, Kanye? Kanye's like, uh, save game and take a rest or keep talking. We're going to keep talking. Poking his damn nose where it don't belong. Kliggs, why don't you finish that story? <whistles> Honkers, you were waiting outside then? Yeah. We return to Nibelheim, 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 Nibelheim. Uh, Nibelheim, I don't know, if you, you fucking figure it out, chat. Uh, Edgelord confined himself at the inn, he didn't even try to talk to me. Then all of a sudden he just disappeared, right? We found him inside the biggest building in Nibelheim. The villagers used to call it the Shinra Mansion. Long ago, people from Shinra used to live in that mansion. It's a cool, it's a cool looking fucking mansion up there. It's surprised, it's surprising that, like, they would just leave that thing abandoned. Either Shinra or the, you know, townspeople. Mm, fuck, excuse me. I'm just dying today on stream. If I die, let it happen. Um, you would think somebody would want to move into that big-ass place. Because that could pretty much hold the entire town. Look at this fucking creepy spot. It's, it's been a while since I've been here, so I don't exactly remember where to go. It's not up here. Oh, it's up on the second floor. That's right. Sorry, guys. It has it has been a while. Let's head up this way. There's no sign of Edgelord, but I know I saw him go into this room. Good job, asshole. You couldn't even find your way to the giant secret wall. That's clearly a secret. 
What's wrong with you? So this part's cool because you find out something about this area right here. Um, um, that was going on while you were here in this flashback that you didn't even know about. An organism that was apparently dead was found in a 2,000-year-old geological stratum. Professor Gass named that organism Geneva. X year, X month, X day. Geneva confirmed to be an ancient. Geneva Project approved the use of Mako Reactor 1, approved for use. He reads every fucking book in this room. Crazy person. Crazy person. I don't think I read a fair amount, and I don't think I'll ever even read that much in that life. My mother's name is Geneva. Geneva Project. Is this just a coincidence? Professor Gast, why didn't you tell me anything? Why did you die? You died! Alright. Let me be alone. Right, now we head out. And story! Sephiroth didn't come out of the Shinra Mansion once. I know that's not what it says. Shut up. I like this cool, like, time transition thing. He continued to read as if he were possessed by something. And not once did the light in the basement go out. So that's the nice thing about having a reactor that's not malfunctioning. Oh, scratch. The shit's getting really real, guys. Here's the big dumb character setting moment for the Edgelord Sephiroth. He gets so overused as a boogeyman and basically everything Square has come out with since this game. Seems different. Because that's literally what they turn him into after this game is a fucking boogeyman. There are better... There are... I mean, I guess this is the one that popularized the, the series for, a, you know, a major audience. So, of course, everybody's going to remember this guy. Um, but I feel like there are better enemies in the Final Fantasy mythos. I really do. Uh, I scratch my eye. Who is it? Hmph, traitor. Traitor? Fuck's matter with you? You ignorant traitor, I'll tell you. This planet originally belonged to the Cetra. Cetra was an itinerant race. They would migrate in, settle the planet, and then move on. They went between planets. How did they do that? At their end of their harsh, hard journey, they would find the promised land and supreme happiness. But those that disliked the journey appeared. Those who stopped their migrations built shelters and elected to live an easier life. They took that which the Cetra and the planet had made without giving back one wit in return. The interesting thing about this is they're suggesting that they move from planet to planet, which means that somewhere else in the universe there's other ancients living. Those were your ancestors. Edgelord, long ago disaster struck this planet. Your ancestors escaped. They survived because they hid. The planet was saved by sacrificing the Cetra. After that, your ancestors continued to increase. Now all that's left of the Cetra is in these reports. What does that have to do with you? Don't you get it? An ancient named Geneva was found 2,000 years ago. The Geneva Project. The Geneva Project wanted to produce people with the powers of the ancients. No, the Cetra. I am the one that was produced. P created? A little Metal Gear Solid moment there. Yes. Professor Gass, leader of the project and genius scientist, produced me. How did he... Safi off? Out of my way. I'm going to see my mother. Oh, there's the music. Oh, my God. Should we sing along with the music? Edge. Lord. Black. Mascara. Hot topic. <laughs> I know. I'm a fucking idiot. Big Edge Lord. Anyone there? 
hate pair rents. Right, get down there. Thank again. Hey, you. You're still sane, right? Come over here and help me. Just jumped over what looks like a bonfire. Unless that's the thing he started the fire from. I'll check this house. You check that one over there. Isn't that my house? Don't I walk in there and find my mother dead or something? Like, they don't show it, but you have to assume that's what happened. He walks in and sees his mother burnt to a fucking crisp. Which is kind of brutal. Terrible. This is too terrible. Now we get to see him fucking killing people. Look at that. He's just, just chopping, they're splitting their fucking heads open. Oh, he's so evil. Oh, he's a fucking powerful crying mama's boy. I can't believe he's the character that stuck. I hope they turn down his stupid ed I know they won't, but I hope they turn down his stupid ed edge lordiness in the remake. I guess we'll have to wait till 2020 to see, but whatever. Cool, we're actually almost through this here. Uh, which is great, because we can go to grinding and we can uh, check out some other stuff here. Um, I'm actually super excited. Um, to continue on from here because this game when this game opens up it becomes great I mean don't get me wrong the game's been pretty great so far and it's been fun to stream Seth feed off edgelord did this to you didn't he I keep forgetting I'm calling him edgelord now edgelord soldier maker reactor Shinra everything I hate them all I'm gonna wallpaper my room with black trash bags Hey, you're dead. So that's her dad. He's f he's fucking dead. Look, there he is. Mother, I'm here to see you. Please open this door. Mommy, I'm a Shoda. How could you do that to everybody? Almost stabbed the shit out you, boy. Get fucked, boy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> so you don't see that scar on her. Obviously, they can't show it in, you know, these models or any of the models or any of the CG stuff uh, because of the rudimentary CG and everything at the time. It was good for the time, but it's, you know, there's no real detail. Um, but even in, like, even in the art and everything, she doesn't have a giant scar from that. You promised that you'd come when I was in trouble. Like, she got hit hard. She has to be bleeding out, right? Because so far we've seen Sephiroth one-shot dragons and shit. So there's no way she's doing all right. Ow. Fuck. All right. Well, let's go kill our war war buddy, Edgelord, here. Look at this weird fucking shrine they've built to this asshole. Actually, I think that's like... It's, it's literally just this weird mechanical shrine they've built in front of it. Mother, let's take this planet back together. Let's go to the promised land. Edgelord. My family, my hometown, how could you do this to them? How could you do this happen? Aha, they've come again, Mother. With her superior knowledge, knowledge and... Knowledge? Power, knowledge, and magic, Mother was destined to become the ruler of this planet. But they, them, that man, a certain organization, fucking Japan, are stealing the planet from Mother. But now I'm here with you. So don't worry, he's got such a weird, creepy Mother complex. It's, it's very uniquely Japanese, I think. Look at this weird, what is it? What is that? What is that? What is it supposed to be? It's just in front of this dead old corpse. So weird. So it looks like this creepy person thing with creepy mechanical rock wings encased in water. What about my sadness? My friend, family, friends, taking it all away. Same as your sadness. He's like, nah, not really. You're an idiot. 
My sadness? What do I have to be sad about? I am the chosen one. I have been chosen to be the leader of this planet. You really... You really kind of went off the fucking deep end here, bro. I have orders to take this planet back from you two stupid people for the Cetra. From who? Fucking who? I trusted you. You're not the Sephiroth I used to know. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Rap battle commence. <laughs> that would be funny. And that's the end of my story. Ain't there more? I don't remember. What happened to Sephiroth? In terms of skill, I couldn't have killed him. Official records state Sephiroth is dead. I read it in the paper. Shinra owns the paper, so you can't rely on that information. I want to know the truth. I want to know what happened then. I challenged Edgelord and lived. Why didn't he kill me? I'm alive too. <laughs> it seems like a lot of this doesn't make sense. What about Geneva? Was It was in the Shinra building, right? Shipped it from Nibelheim to Midgar. Did someone else carry it out after that? It was missing from the Shinra building. Sephid off? Damn, none of this makes no damn sense. I'm gone. And I'm leaving the thinking to you. I'm just here to shoot shit. Let's get a move on. Wait a sec. Ass. Strong, you're just gonna stand there while Edgelord heads for the Promised Land? Should we start calling the Promised Land Hot Topic? I ain't letting Edgelord or Shinra get to know Hot Topic. If they do, then we're all screwed. That fits a little bit too well. Beautiful, just beautiful. I'll just leave it to me. I think I'll back off of that a teeny bit. Kliegs. How bad was I when Sephiroth cut me? I thought you were a goner. I was really sad. Where did he cut you? The blah, 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 all this stuff. I have stuff to think about. Let's go. Kanye's waiting. What a fascinating story. All right. So since we obviously don't have... Okay, here. We get an important item here. Yo, Kligs, here. Received PHS. Access the menu and select PHS. I think it's supposed to be phone system or something. Or like party handling system. Can only be used in the world map. So that allows you to switch parties at save points and on the world map. So you can switch your characters in and out when you're like grinding out in the world. All right, we out of here. Let's go. All right, so we're going to go grind out some cash, check out a few things, then we're going to come back here and buy more, uh, or buy those items, because they're actually uh, pretty useful for grinding here. Uh, we're good with the stuff we have right now. Actually, what we'll do just for now, uh, because there's no other... Um, there's no other enemy skills we can get here. So we're going to do a quick loop around the area, and then we're going to head up to the Chocobo Farm, which is probably one of my favorite areas in any fucking Final Fantasy game. Yes, I know I'm a slightly crazy. Shit. Well, I got a crit with one of them. So when you grind out stuff, um, you obviously you get cash. Um which I like. It doesn't make thematic sense, but I still like the fact that it happens. Um, but that is good, uh, because that's basically, that's the way you make your damn money. Um, especially here in the beginning. Um, you can make money by, like, selling items that you have and stuff like that, but it's kind of not really worth it. It's more worth it to just run around in the world listening to this awesome main theme and, uh, just grabbing a ton of, uh, a ton of cash off of the enemies here. Alright. We're also gonna grind out... I don't know about, like, the second level of everybody's, um, uh, limit breaks, but we're gonna grind out some, uh, limit breaks, uh, for characters to off-screen. Yeah, if you guys want to see that, let me know in the chat. Otherwise, I will do it just off camera. Just save you guys the time and just continue on with the story and everything. I mean, I don't know. 
I want to do what you guys want to watch, so if y'all tell me. I'm doing a little bit of it here just to kind of pad out time. Not really, pad out probably isn't the word, but... Right, we got these guys again. Everything we've got bolt attacks on pretty much all these guys. Bolt fire. pretty good amount of damage. Like, having Elemental equipped, it doesn't increase the damage by too much, um, but it, it increases it by, I think, like, 1.2 or a little more. Um, it's it's mainly useful because you, you basically get to use an Elemental attack without having to use magic points. Alright, so now we are going to continue. I'm going to save right before I go in, because there's a thing that can happen. If you do the thing right, you get your first summon materia in the game. Um, the summons in this game are fucking awesome. Uh, people like them so much that they built entire game mechanics around them in the other games. Um, so still at this point, magic is still your best bet for grinding and stuff like that. Once you get past a certain level and you start grinding, uh, each character can basically one-shot um, an enemy out in the world with a physical attack. So once you get to that point... Um, there we go. Cool. Another level. Once you get to that point, then it becomes um, more beneficial to just, um, to just hit them. Um, especially if you're working on leveling up like a physical character. Um, they become very good at just hitting things to death out in the world right away. Uh-oh. Stuck between these guys. I'm actually going to have her steal from that fellow over there. Um, conquerors to steal. Because if I remember correctly, he has a very good item on him. I, I can't remember if he has, like, potions or something. Looks like he didn't get it. Damn it. I could be wrong. Like I said, it has been a long time since I played this game, so I don't remember everything exactly. Oh, Titan Bangle, look at that. Oh wait, did he, did he steal that off of us? Oh shit. That's no good. Let's keep going. Right, and there's my favorite place. And whole goddamn spot. Love it. I like it. It's fun. The the mini game that's there that takes up that appears in like the last third of the game is just super fucking cool. I'm taking some hits. I'm gonna have to take a nap when I get there. Um, resting at the inn is the uh, resting at inns is the most cost. Wow, he's almost dead. Resting at inns is the most cost-effective way to. Um, Cure on you? No, you do not. Uh, resting at ends is the most cost-effective way to uh, restore your hit points and everything later on. All right, you're gonna hit somebody. Yay! You didn't hit him, so we can get out of this without anybody dying and having to use any phoenix down. That's good. You dead? I made you dead. You dead now? Nah. Now nah, you dead now? Nah. Level up there. Getting more gill. I think the last thing we'll do um, in this stream today is going to be buy the extra weapons and then, I don't know, maybe show them off with an extra fight or two. Then from there, I'll do all my dumb grinding shit. And then that'll be done by the time we do the next... Oh, fuck me. That'll be done by the time we do the next stream. Um... Like I said, if you guys really want to see it, uh, let me know. The best place to let me know would probably be over on the Twitter, where we put all the stream notifications. Uh, you guys can find it in the link below the video. Uh, I might even put up a poll there and then link to the poll on the Twitch. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Oh shit, I want to save first. 
Because I remember the thing, but I'm always worried that I'll pick the wrong thing. There's a prompt you get, and if you pick the thing, you get the thing. If you don't pick the thing, you don't get the thing. And I'll show you the thing I'm talking about here in a second. Man, the last time I saved was the fucking Shinra building. Wow. That was like an hour and a half ago. Alright, we want to talk to this fucking Chocobo. Alright, I think we want to pick the first one. Yeah! We did it! Now we get to see a cool little Chocobo dance for some reason. I don't know why, but I think it's adorable. <laughs> Look at it go. Yeah! Do your stupid little dance. Yeah! I bet this is the song that gets us content ID. I don't know. I'm just being a goofball. Yay, that was dumb, but I liked it. And then you get the Choco Mog Summon Materia. An important materia. Uh, because it's your first summon materia. Summon ma or summon spells are basically giant uh, magic attacks. Uh, we'll switch out Chocomog and use it on the way back. Um, just to show it off here. And like I said, we do need to do a little bit more grinding uh, before the end here. But first I want to talk to this guy. Thinking of crossing the marshes? Yeah. Then it'll probably be safer for you to get a chocobo. That way you can zip through the marshes with the chocobo. It's the only way to avoid being attacked by the Midgar Zolom. Midgar Zolom? I don't know how to pronounce that either. It's a serpent-like creature over 30... It's a fucking giant snake. It picks up on footsteps that enter the marshes. And then bam, it attacks. To avoid that, buy a chocobo at the Choco Bill and Choco Billy Chocobo Farm. To purchase a chocobo, please talk to my grandson. He's in the chocobo stables at the far right end of the farm. All right, let's head over here to the other side of the farm. So normally there's there's an almost unbeatable boss you have to deal with early on here um, that actually has an incredibly powerful enemy skill. Um, so one of the reasons I grind is to be a high enough level to be able to take the hit from that skill to learn it. And then even if I die and I get pulled out here, um, I, uh, I still get the skill. The old folks are out of luck. Old folks? We're all out of chocobos. I'm taking care of the ones out there for someone else. You know, if you really want a chocobo, you should go out and catch one. Want to know how to catch a chocobo? What else? Whatever you do, don't make chocobos angry, blah, 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 blah. I think I have to read all of these. So there's a chocobo catching mini-game. Mini you can ride chocobos to get around faster in this game and avoid random battles out in the world. Um, and you do it by catching them out in the world. You have to have a certain materia equipped to make them appear, and then you have to use items to keep them from running away because you have to get through a fight um, in order to do it. So you need the chocobo lure materia here. And I think they sell it for a shit ton of money. Where are they? How do I catch one? So once I read this, I'll have done everything. And then I'll be able to buy that materia. And then, while chocobos are really cautious, they'll run away from the slightest things. How to catch a chocobo? Not interested. Well then, shall we get down to business? Oh, maybe I could have skipped that. Whatever. I'll sell you the lure for 2000 right now. I don't even know if I have the money. Oh, I had the money. Wouldn't hurt to buy some greens either. Depends on the greens you'll feed them. Uh, we're not worried about that. So now we have uh, another materia. I didn't technically need to do this, but I wanted to burn the money right now. So let's actually take a look at the money we have. We have 426, so we're going to be doing a fair bit of grinding before we go back to Calm uh, to buy the good weapons. So this is the marsh here. And if you look around on the marsh, can you see it? Yeah, see that little dark thing running around there? That is the Midgar Zolom. If you move slowly, he can get to you. Uh, but if you have a chocobo, you move faster, and you can get away from him um, and get to that cave over there without being attacked. Uh, but since we're not in a position to do that yet, and I want to get those weapons, uh, we'll be doing this instead. Fire... You know what? We'll use a summon attack here. So summons take a lot of magic points. 
I probably shouldn't have them equipped on uh, uh, my magic healer here. Also, you can't attack when it's in the middle of that frankly adorable animation. There's a different one you use later called Fat Chocobo, where this giant fat chocobo just falls out of the sky and uh, lands on everybody, and that's pretty fucking funny, actually. Um, I don't know the prerequisites to get it. It's not based on the level of the... It slowed me down. It's not based on the level of the, the materia, I don't think. I think it's based on what enemies you're fighting. Um... I should probably look that up, because I wouldn't mind showing off Fat Chocobo at some point, either. Alright, so... We're gonna grind until we have enough money, then head back to Calm, and that will close out this stream, this morning stream, for today. The battle system in this game is fun just because of how basic it is. Like, there's some good depth stuff to it, but they don't force you to do anything specific. The fact that you can equip any magic on anyone makes it very open. I really like it because they... they there were a lot of gimmicks in later games um, that made those individual games interesting, um, but kind of made the battle system a lot more linear. Um, and I didn't necessarily like that. So, like, you get to... Um, 9 and 10, and you've got characters with specific classes, and only they can use specific spells and stuff. Um, which makes sense, because then you can say, I'm going to use... Fuck, I'm going to use VV, uh, because I need magic spells, or something like that. Um, uh, which, which was linear, and honestly made a little bit of sense, but I like the fact that you could literally equip any character with any materia in this game and build your characters how you want it. So you could build three glass cannons, you could build three melee-only um, guys, you could do a ton of stuff like that. Um, and it was really cool. Oh, I missed one. Damn it. Oh well, could be worse. Could be worse. Yeah, get him. Aw. Oh. I don't want to waste all my MP at this point. Uh, I have plenty of ethers to use, but those are going to be useful in boss fights later as well, so... <clears throat> so this is what this game ends up coming down to. Um, not really, but just like a lot of grinding. Honestly, some of the fights towards the end of the game, if you don't take some time to level up your characters, can become very tough. Uh, you can get to the game at the end of the game. In my first playthrough, I got to the end of the game with very few, like, high-level materia, and that kind of fucked me. Um, it's actually pretty important to have um, some higher-level materia and some good materia builds once you get to the end of the game. Um, so the, the end game can become very difficult if you're not careful. This should end it out. Um, but yeah, so this is one of those games where, like, I don't think there's ever really any wall. But you'll get to a point where things get so hard that you do have to spend extra time grinding out stuff. And you obviously get more experience from enemies later in the game, so it, it does kind of play catch up um, in terms of, like, leveling. But. Getting yourself, like, a good, I guess the word would be leveling foundation um, is important in the beginning of the game because it also gets you some materia that will end up being useful later in the game as well. Um, it also gives you overpowered spells to start with. Because um, we are going to try the Midgar Zolem. That'll probably be the first half an hour of the next Final Fantasy stream we do. Um, is trying to get the trying to get the enemy skill off of the Midgar Zolom. You slowed me down! Oh my god! It's funny that those little grass things are resistant to fire and magic in general, but when you hit them, it just gets super fucked up. 
So everybody's level 15, cool. Oh. I'll also grind specifically for the purposes of... How's our guild looking? Yeah, 2,500. I, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I was pressing the wrong button to exit out. I'll probably try and grind out about... 8 to 10k here really quick. And then buy the stuff and that'll, that'll end out the stream. Cucks a lot. Hit him with that fire. The hot fire. Please, he got that limit break. That's nice. Fighting the wolves is good too because the wolves gives you or the wolves give you some of the best um, AP gains here, um, which is important because getting the material leveled up is pretty important. Um, let's actually take a look and see. Um, so this lightning spell was the one Cloud was originally equipped with, and this this ice spell. And if you look, um, it takes a lot of leveling to get these things to higher levels because the, the, the power of them increases, I would say, exponentially as you get the better spells. Because um, as you go up in level, you get those new spells. Spells? It's not spills, fuck me. Listed on the bottom left there. Um, so if you notice that last one, I said that was a lot of AP for the time. And for the area, um, it takes 2,000 AP to get to the first level um, with your with your basic materia. Uh, the all uh, material materia is less or more. I can't remember off the top of my head. Fuck it. Spreading misinformation through streams. It's my speciality. Fire. Nope. Fire spell, and that'll do it. In fact, I'm not even gonna waste turns with the other guys. Just hit him with the spells and move on. I'll go to calm and rest really quick. Get that magic points back. Hi, kitty. My kitty cat is coming down to say hi. Go in here, take a rest, and keep leveling. This, by the way, is try is what I'm trying to avoid uh, making you guys do, or have to watch, um, by doing the grinding off-screen. The only reason I'm doing it now is so that I can show off the new weapons, which you guys will end up getting to see anyways later. So there, I guess there isn't really a point, but I still want to do it. I still think it's worth it. I still think it's pretty decent stream material. If you disagree, let me know. God, what a good track. It's, re it's like this this nice, calming, uh, you know, world map thing with some very stirring moments, don't get me wrong. I'll use his limit break in the next fight we get into here. Using her all lightning was kind of a waste, actually. Nothing can happen while they're attacking because they were queued up next. And they're dead. I know, did you guys know living things are, are don't like fire? Cuxalot is level 16. He's actually... Is he out-leveled uh, Kliggs there? Nope. He's on the level with Kliggs. I should be using... Uh, I should be using Honkers to steal from enemies while I'm here, to be perfectly honest. Um, but we're not, so... I'll do that with the off-screen grinding. Screw it. Oh, I don't even have steel equipped on her because of the damn... The thing I was gonna say. I don't even have it equipped on her because I switched out for that uh, summon attack. I'll use that again. Did you guys see the dumb, silly chocobo thing? And the Moogle. They really have very few Moogles in this game. Oh, that was a waste. Oh, good! It didn't proc. Perfect. Perfect! We'll use that in the next fight. Um, that's another thing I have to grind out. It, it's worth it grinding out a lot of different stuff early on in the game. Uh, one of the big things, I guess, would be uh, limit breaks. And I think I did say earlier in the stream I'm going to grind specifically for limit breaks. So I'll actually switch out to the other characters 
just to use their limit breaks. Whoops. Yeah! At least one of them is alright. Look at them hits. Yeah, her, her limit break does a lot of damage. It actually does more than anybody else's limit break right now. Um, part of the reason we keep her around. It's not just because she's a pretty face. Eh, I don't know. She's honestly probably a little top heavier for my taste, but... That is... Neither here nor there. Oh man, they got the back attack on us. We gonna die! Oh god. That, uh, whoop, that's what I want. That cover spell is actually really good when paired with a counter spell. Um, which is a material you get later on which allows you to counter physical attacks. So you'll cover a character from an attack and then immediately hit the enemy that hit them. Um, it's actually a really good combo for a physical attack character. Um, you get materia like counter magic, and I think you get a counter summon. I don't think you get a counter summon, actually. Um, but you can set up a character with one of the chain materia slots, um, where whenever you get attacked, you um, retaliate with whatever magic attack you have chained to the counter magic materia. It's pretty cool, honestly. We're going to use the summon on you, because those things do a fuck ton of damage, and I do not want to deal with that. Like, they beat the ever-living shit out of Cucks a lot earlier. They got him down to four health. For some reason, he's really susceptible to that specific thing. Actually, I think that's just an incredibly powerful spell. And... Bam! You all gonna die tonight. Probably. Actually, the summon is pretty damn powerful here. See that? It does a lot of damage. Good. Takes a lot of magic points, but, I mean, you get what you pay for, so to speak. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see. What is our girl looking at? 47. That's actually going pretty fast. Hold on. We need to take some to cure him. And on we go. Hope you all enjoyed the stream today. I've been having uh, fun playing Final Fantasy VII. A lot more fun than I thought I was going to have. I wonder how the summon does on these guys. Probably not very good. Bam! Oh man, he got slowed from the damn cover. Eh, it doesn't matter. Fat Chocobo, yeah! Look at that. <clears throat> I think Fat Chocobo does physical damage, and Choco Mog does magic wind damage. So maybe, who knows, maybe it picks. Maybe it picks, like, which is going to do the most damage, and then from there it does the damn, or it picks which one. That's cool! I can't believe we got to see Fat Chocobo! I'm actually really happy about that. Not really happy about this slow dance bullshit this guy keeps pulling on us. <sighs> but what are you gonna do? Hey, we leveled up our all materia already. That's great. And we got a nut. Uh, the nuts are used for... Uh, Chocobo breeding which is that, that end game uh, quest, uh, side quest thing I was telling you about. Um, and it, it becomes very important to breed Chocobos for a number of reasons later on. Um, I won't really um, break it all, or I won't really tell you all the reasons it's important right now, but one of them is gambling. You get to fucking gamble. So here's the interesting thing. Oh, he can't use it twice yet. Son of a bitch. I lied. I think once you get to the third level, you can use it more than once. 
Once again, could be completely, totally stupid wrong. Who knows? We will see. So you notice those guys are weak to physical and Cloud's doing less damage to them than the other characters? That's because he still has an elemental lightning attack. So they're having reduced damage from the lightning attack. Um, let's look at that materia. I think you end up getting more elemental damage uh, the higher those things get leveled. I can't remember off the top of my head, though. Oof. Um, that also uh, plays into some dungeons later on, because, you know, you'll get your fire dungeon or your ice dungeon, and then the enemies in there will be susceptible to, like, the opposite. Oh, you know what? Actually, what does Quake do to these fuckers? Is that a one-shot, or is it... Nope, just still bad, poor damage. Damn it. Uh, Matra Magic is good against these guys, because even though it's magic, it's non-elemental, so they don't actually end up uh, being able to resist the damage as well. Let's go. Hunter's got her limit break. She's not going to use it, though. Save that for the next one. I don't want to use her limit break here um, because the fact that she, she, the fact that she gets multiple attacks in the limit break means that she can kill multiple enemies. It's randomized who she hits. Um, but it still ends up being more beneficial to use it on two enemies instead of one. Uh, let's get a quick heal in. On you, and you're the only one who really took much damage there. What's our kill at, actually? 63! It's going faster than I expected. It's good. It's real good, you guys! Everything's happening just as we planned. Right. Shit. At least we got one crit. Should be enough to outright kill one of these. Oh, or she's gonna spread it around. But that's fine. That's fine. We're not exactly in dire straits here. These enemies aren't really doing that much damage to us. And you'll find that a lot with, um... Oh, my stupid fucking back. It's hurting a lot, you guys. Um, you'll find that a lot with uh, enemies you fight out in the world. Um, they tend to give a disproportionate amount of experience to the threat level that they pose. Um, uh, gill 2. Uh, granted, there's some enemies you want to fight for grinding gill, some enemies you want to fight for grinding experience later on. Um, but we're not worried about that now. You won't need that bolt, so you'll just get in the final attack here. Clicks doesn't manage to kill him, but he did. So perfect. Perfect. The other important important reason that I want to get these weapons before doing the grinding is they just do more damage, so I can switch away from um, I can switch away from using magic sooner. Uh, to one-shot enemies. So like I said, we're going to grind out about eight, and then we're going to go buy all the stuff we want to buy. Light you all five. God, he's probably got to have, like, four hit points left. I could use sense to see exactly how many hit points they have, but it's not really important. I might show off sense at some point later. Um... It just gives you stats on the enemies. Uh, you don't get any benefit from doing it other than knowledge for yourself. Like, there's no stat boosts or anything like that. Um, but I'll still show it off. Look at Midgar over there. All fucked up. So since Avalanche started their activities, the president of the company died, a bunch of employees died and were killed by uh, Edgelord there, don't you know? Um, uh, the company basically destroyed an entire city and then blamed it on terrorists. It got fucked up. Alright. 
Almost there, guys. Almost there. So yeah, this again is why I didn't really want to include the grinding, or d why I don't want to include the majority of the grinding in the stream, because it's just this repetitive stuff, and I don't think it necessarily makes for the best stream material. Yeah, I've been doing it for the past 20 minutes here, but this will probably be the most you guys end up having to put up with. The only reason I'm doing it now, like I said, is to show off those weapons. Fire on those guys. Bonkers and Kligs. Cut that guy up and punch him to death. There we go. Damn it! Why are you grinding me? Stole my tranquilizer. Did I get it back? Yeah, okay. Those guys suck for that, because they'll steal shit from you. It's too bad grind isn't an enemy skill. Watch it be an enemy skill, like a steel skill that doesn't involve having to use a steel uh, materia. You know what? I should, I should look that up. I should definitely look that up. I'm 99% I'm sure it's not, but I should still look it up. Stuck in the middle again? No. Okay, so let's see, who's the fastest? It looks like Cuxalot is the fastest character by far at this point. Whoops, I just accidentally cured somebody. Herself? Yeah, herself. Plagues could use it. Stop grinding on me, bro. It's gross. Kill him! Not taking that much damage. Oh well. Hey, we're at 8k. So let's go over to Calm here, buy the weapons, get in one fight, and then we'll be done. Uh oh. I don't know why I said, uh oh. These guys are not that big of a deal. Clegs has his limit break. You gonna die tonight, boy! I'm gonna kill you! The fact that Cross Slash does stop is really good for early game stuff. Like, if we go up against the Midgar Zolum, I'm gonna grind out to the point where I have my limit stuff ready. And then I'm going to use that to stop it, and then we'll fight the shit out of it while it's stopped. And just try to get as much damage in on it as possible. Um, take its, take its, its heavy attack. Um, that I want that goddamn, um, want the enemy skill from. And then from there we should be good. What do you have to say? Is it true Shinra made a monster? Yeah. Yeah, well, either way, as long as we're using the reactor, we can't stand up to them. I hate that Japanese mentality. It, ha it, it exists in a lot of media. We can't do things because of this thing. I've got my health, and that's enough. All's, and enough to eat, all's well. I know there's a couple items in some of these buildings, so I'm going to look through them before uh, buying this stuff. There's a bar down here that has something in it, I think. All right. There's a chef. Stay out of the kitchen. I think I get to go in there later. Used to work in a cold uh, mithril mine. But then monsters started appearing. After that, business went to spot, went to pot, and I spend my days here drinking. I heard terrorists bombed a reactor. There's been a lot of dangerous shit lately. I just hate it. Seems there's this group called terrorists running around, but I guess they finally got wiped out by Souljor. Stay out of the kitchen. I just had to do it again. You know what? I'm gonna check all these houses. Fuck it. Here's a guy here. Suspicious looking man in a black cloak carrying a wicked looking sword. That doesn't sound uh, worrisome at all. We got item up here. Yeah! We got potion. Peacemaker! Range by type. Oops. Range by type. So Peacemaker, I don't know why they give it to us now, is a rifle 
rifle or a pistol? I can't remember. I think it's a pistol. I think it's like a, supposed to be a revolver pistol. Um, but we don't get the character that can use that until like 20 hours from now. So why the fuck give it to us now? My older brother's so stupid, he's so embarrassing, I could just puke. Wow. When I grow up, I'm going to be a soldier. That's why I'm training hard now. Okay, you do that, kiddo. Good job. It would be funny if Cloud and Party were like, Soldier, they're from the Shinra, and they beat the shit out of the kid. I'd get a laugh out of that. So you came from Midgar? I used to live there too, but I hear they got a lot of troubles lately. You're right. A dog! Oh, Jesus! He was stuck in the pantry. He sounds sad. Oh, same line. I might have said something about the dog. Right, we got something up here. Something to grab. No, we do not. Wait, maybe? Maybe? Yeah! Ether. That's worth it. Ethers are expensive in these games. So, finding them is quite nice. I'd rather find than buy. And here's this house. Thanks to Mako, life's pretty darn convenient, don't you think? You're full of it! But I hate to think what life would be like without it. There's another item. See, I knew there were items in these fucking houses. Another ether, too. That's badass. That's badass. What do you gotta say, kid? Made things a lot more convenient, but it seems like a lot of plants and animals have been disappearing at a rapid pace. I think the old life was better. Don't you think so? Yeah, why not? So, you learn later on, um, and it was even mentioned by that coal miner, that they used to have, um, they were like an industrial society that was based on, on using coal uh, before Mako came around. But then once we got Mako, everything changed. So this is almost like an alternate take on like, like, techno-punk, what would happen if, um... Um, the world split off from pre-industrial and we ended up getting, you know, Mako reactors instead of other stuff. Alright, I'm pretty sure we bought everything we needed to buy here, yeah. So now we are here for the weapons. This is the weapons store. And what we'll do, just to make a couple extra bucks... Oh, no, I want to sell items. We want to sell these two iron bangles, and we'll sell the bronze bangles, because we do not need those anymore. I can sell her leather glove, because we don't need that anymore. Oops, nope, I was still in the buy menu, so now I want to buy. Alright, so we've got a mithril saber, we've got a cannonball, which is interesting for Barret, because Barret has both long range and short range weapons. Um, and you kind of got to figure out uh, which has growth and which does not. All right, Mithril Claw for you, Full Metal Staff for you, and he already has this thing. All right. Um, there's another interesting thing that I will note here before we end up the stream. Um, if you look at the items here, it'll show you the slot, how many slots it has, and it'll show you the growth. Um, there are there is equipment that has normal growth, which means that you'll get the amount of AP that you see. Uh, stuff that gets double, and even stuff stuff that gets triple, where it triples the amount of AC or, or AP or doubles the amount of AP that you get. And then there's some that has no growth whatsoever, and you don't want to equip those until like the very end of the game when you're not trying to level up materia. Wait, did I equip everything? I don't think I did. Yep. There we go. Buster sword. Buster sword to Mithril Saver. Mithril Claw, and he's good for now. Oh, that's right. I want to equip my extra materia. So we'll put enemy skill on him for now. Oops. Um, I should probably put steel on her, but let's put heal on her for now. And let's see. You've got everything you need for now. Poison, ice, fire. you got two fires equipped. There's no benefit to equipping multiples of the same materia, except for certain support materia you get later on. So that's probably not the best, but I just want to level up those uh, uh, those basic equip materials because it, it pays off dividends later on. 
So let's check out these new weapons really quick and look at the difference, like the physical difference. Because that was one of the things I liked about this, is you could physically see the different weapons you equipped. Um, and then from there, we will conclude our stream. Running around in fucking circles. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, so you look already. He's got this crazy saber equipped. Cucks a lot, you can't really see anything. It's his headdress that he ends up um, getting a different thing from. And Honkers, you can't see, but she's got a big-ass Wolverine claw sticking out of her one. Man, I wish they would have zoomed in for these. I wanted to physically show it off. Notice we're also, or those two are also doing more physical damage at this point. So there we go. There, that's a little bit better of a view. Except that she's hiding hers behind her back. All right, so that is going to be the Final Fantasy VII stream for the day. Uh, I want to thank you guys a ton for all y'all that came out. Uh, we actually got a good amount of viewers at one point. Um, I'm Jeff. This is my channel. If you enjoyed what you saw, you should leave a follow. Um, if you like this video or if you like this stream and you want to see the uh, uh, see it again, this video will be archived over on our YouTube channel. Um, the YouTube channel can be found in the link below. Uh, it's Wu-Tang Chicken as well, so it's not really... It's the same as this. Um, we do full Let's Plays and funny one-off videos in full 108060 over there. Um, so if you enjoyed this, you'll probably enjoy those, because those videos are better, in my opinion, than these streams. Uh, just because I can edit them down and stuff like that. Um... But yeah, if you like that kind of thing, you should definitely go over there and subscribe there. Um, if you want updates on when we'll be streaming and what we'll be streaming and channel updates and random shit posts, uh, check out our Twitter. The Twitter is also linked below. Um, that's where you're going to find the majority of the updates on when streams are going to happen and stuff. Obviously, we're going to be streaming this again, and I'll let people know on the Twitter before the stream starts. Uh, what else? I think that's it. Uh, thank you guys for coming out. Uh, I really appreciate uh, you coming to hang out with me. Hopefully, ooh, shit, I almost killed her. Uh, hopefully, I will see you guys next time.